chilling. We chilling. We're good on time. We'll be okay. Yeah. No rush. No worries. Never. About a thing. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to worry. Bob just hit it on the fucking nose. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. We'll make it through. When we start a podcast, my brain just has all these things populating that we could talk about. (laughs) I'd just be letting some of those fish go. Mm -hmm. But one thing about that song. Okay. That song kind of is anxiety inducing when I listen to it. Oh, no. Yeah. (laughs) Where's that coming from? (laughs) Well, one, I don't really like this song. Okay. No offense to Bob Marley. I understand he's a legend. I understand I don't know enough about him to say any negative things about his music or discography. Because he's such a legend to some people. And in the community and stuff like that. With that being said. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Go on. (laughs) Sonically, for me, I don't really vibe. Like, it's it's like slower pace. And I feel like... The whole genre, really, like reggae music, yeah, or whatever. And I don't want to hate on it. reggae, but it's just I don't enjoy it that much, you know, mm-hmm. personally. Maybe my palate's not developed, <laughs> but I don't. It's just different strokes, right? Mm-hmm. But that song, so I don't really like that. Song. I'm like, okay, here we go. We're listening to that song, and he's like, "Don't worry, bro, about anything, bro. It's gonna be all right." And then I'm like, in all my anxiety, also watching everybody else be like, "Yeah, you're right. We're good." And I'm like, "What?" Are you talking about what are you talking about there's still job ain't finished there's still so much work to do job finished <laughs> yeah. that's like my spirit's like job ain't finished job ain't finished i don't know what we're so Job's not finished. satisfied and okay about that's so funny that that like that scene came to my mind i have no idea why but that came to my mind i think i was as i was walking to my car on saturday night really <laughs> yeah nice. no out of nowhere out of nowhere sometimes things just populate into your matrix like a song will pop up or something will just be like Boop. It's like, from where? Where did that come from? Such a random memory. It's like, so you're up 2 0 in the series. It's like, you're not happy about that? Job finished. <laughs> yeah. Job's not finished. It's so, like, oh, God. <laughs> yes. It was the perfect all attitude. Because mm-hmm. you've seen both sides. You've seen like the confident player who's up 2 0 and the player who's unconfident up 2 0. And like giving in a post game interview is like a thing. And he just went in and was like, this is exactly how I want to feel and how I want to represent myself feeling. Mm hmm. We're not high up, we're not low, I'm focused. We still got two more to go. What are y'all talking about? Bone chilling. Yeah. Yeah, just all business. Yeah, he went off that that finals. He was the magic. You felt inspired by that? Yeah, that I don't know. That just came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere on my in my matrix. But you just brought that up in regards to uh oh <laughs> to Bob Marley. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I did grow up with like a relative amount of anxiety. I didn't realize it was anxiety until I had like a surgery and then I had bad anxiety after the surgery. And then they were like, that's anxiety. And then I kind of got over like the post-traumatic stuff from having a surgery and then realized that like that feeling that I felt like on eight out of 10 after the surgery, I still feel that every day. And it goes from like a two out of 10. Some days are like a three or four. Something bad happens. It jumps to a seven. And it's still that feeling of, you know, you're. I don't know, like you're out of control or like you're, um, it it just sucks is what it is. It's like the feeling mm-hmm. of like my, I, my brain wants to spiral into negativity. It wants to like be yeah, yeah. anxious, you know? Yeah. Look for negative outcomes or like, yeah, create nar- narratives. Right. And it, it manifests like if I'm just generally anxious while I'm at work and then I try to go com- communicate well, perform like some kind of speech to people. It's like, I'm just not as good at the job. Like if you just want to do ones and zeros, it's like was good, wasn't good. And then based on anxiety levels, it's like obvious that if my anxiety is higher, I perform, my performance goes down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you got to like work out techniques in your mind to like work through that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you could just not have anxiety sometimes. And that's like way better. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, as a kid, I was, you know, didn't have all that figured out yet. So then I'd hear that song where it's like, don't worry, man. Everything's going to be all right. And I was just like, every little thing. I don't like this. Lies. I don't believe it. <laughs> Fucking lies. This is not all, maybe one day. How is that supposed to help me now? How does mm-hmm. that help me now? I'm in the now, bro. And this music, I don't even like this song. <laughs> Which sucks because it's an anthem for peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange. It's so funny. How I guess yeah. When 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 did this? Was there like a particular time you heard it, or just like a general 
just general vibe when it was on. It just you, you hear that every time you go to the lake or you're on vacation or comes up. Yeah, Six Flags. I don't know. Watching I Am Legend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it comes up, and uh, I'm always just like, you know, it's just like I I'm not really rocking to that. Mm-hmm. So that's over time. I've always been like, that song is uh, not annoying to me, but. I don't know. It just like disrupts. It's like a friction. I have to be like, no, I'm just going to vibe. Everything is okay right now. Everything's perfect right now. Mm-hmm. Over the last like three years, I've been able to realize what he's saying because I'm like, yeah, you know, we're okay. You get to that place. Yeah. In the making, making, making multivitamins. You know what it is? Is huh. I, I believe and I, I truly believe and I truly trust that I am becoming what I want to be. So I'm able to just be okay. And I didn't always have that, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think sometimes life was like, might get away from me. You know? I might be fucking working at Amazon my whole Never life. Know. Yeah. That's like, that would be my hell. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's not hell for everybody else, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're all, it's all personally customized to your interpretation of things. You <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Based on your, whatever cards you got dealt. Whatever the fuck's in my whatever brain. Whatever the fuck's going on know? with our, yeah, our brains, where, where we come from, our DNA. Who knows? But that was a lot of hate speech on Bob Marley for <laughs> the beginning of a podcast. But do you have no, any crazy. unpopular no. opinions? Maybe we can open the door to. <laughs> um, not off the top of my head. I don't like Future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. What a that's one. That's relatively unpopular as an opinion. Yeah, yeah. Not not a big Future fan. I guess I don't know. I definitely don't know enough. Have have not listened to enough of the discography to speak on it. Truly, I'd love to speculate, speculate depth, with you. But yeah, in my speculative range, a free speech YouTube, a free speech. Amen. Just don't talk about the vaccine. <laughs> just don't talk about things that they don't want you to talk about, and you're fine. The way that just the way they a way that they don't want you to talk about them. There we go. That's what it is. You can yeah. talk about whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't like Future. Not a big Future fan. I've listened to. Multiple songs, of course, like some of the songs that he's featured on, or he has other popular features on that have been on the radio, whatever, what have you. But yeah, just never. Nah, not a fan. Not Maybe a fan of what he stands for. There we go. Now we're getting <laughs> what into the it. music stands for. Yeah, or like the uh, the fan. Yeah, I don't know. But I guess, I guess maybe what I have been exposed to as what I consider to be futures music is just what I've been exposed to and maybe what I've been fed through, whatever, whatever means, whatever songs are being populated. So I have a generalized conceptualization of who this person is, what this person's about. Right. But so I have, but maybe if I were to dig deeper into the discography, there'd be some songs or where there's instances or evidence of like something that I would more empathize with or deem more, I don't know, good. Whatever yeah, I consider sure. that to be. You give more credibility to his mm-hmm. career or appreciation for him. Yeah, yeah. Like, there might have been moments where he... Also, I don't know. Like, maybe in 2009, he came out with something that was, like, really crazy at that time. And in that moment, it was great, you know? Yeah. But then it did, maybe didn't age well. Or, like, the, the whole brand didn't age well. Mm-hmm. Something, yeah. Something in, in regards to the culture or whatever. I'm walking on eggshells because I don't want to piss off anybody that's a big, huge, diehard Future fan. Give me a couple songs to listen to and I'll let you know. Everyone it, has their own opinion, though, so it doesn't really matter. You're like, you don't like Bob Marley. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Give a fuck, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. Yeah. Okay, from that basis, yeah, I don't Yeah, yeah I don't like any... Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, bro. March Madness <laughs> sounds cool. Yeah. It's the beat, though. It's the vibe. The it's beat's the... cool. The vibe's cool. The energy's there. But, like, yeah, it sounds cool. Like, he uses his voice more as an instrument than, like, a tool you know what i'm saying yeah Ooh, that's hard <laughs> oh geez <laughs> yeah he just uses words as instrumental sounds versus like building vocalizing yeah with the, like a tool yeah okay vocalizing some people would say the depth the instrument's a tool but you, you're yeah. saying that your speech is should not be used an instrument's an yeah. instrument why would you use your speech? it sounds good right yeah mm-hmm. but it's like it's not teaching you truth per se right mm-hmm. right Mm. now what kind of duty do we owe the people or art itself to use your medium to To express truth yeah i think that's what we're all doing anyway inherently you know expressing our interpretation our truth our lens of whatever the fuck's going on in our matrix yeah you know all debate is that 
Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Unless you're debating for ulterior motives. Yeah. But ultimately, every expression of yourself is your conceptualization of the truth. Yeah. Because you you wouldn't argue points you don't believe in. Yeah. You wouldn't be wrong on purpose. Right. You wouldn't do shit that you know would not benefit you on purpose. (laughs) Nobody All the time. Like, (laughs) or any of the time. Probably very minimally, if ever. Would you, like, do something on purpose that would put you in a rough spot? Yeah. In any fin- in any situation. Yeah. Mm. I was so careful to talk about how I don't <laughs> like Bob Marley and how we don't like Future. Uh-huh. And then you just ripped the band-aid off. You're like, give, give a fuck, dude. Fuck him. And it was so Sorry. freeing, bro. That's the anxiety we talked about earlier. Yeah, there we go. You tore it off me. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. Dude, this is my fucking podcast. What the hell? <laughs> yes. But, dude, it's fuck awesome. Him. That's yeah. the fight we have to fight, though. Yeah. That, that thing is real. Yeah. Man. So, you, <laughs> perception. Perception of being perceived. Yeah, all that Being shit, observed. Bro. Observing yourself being observed. <laughs> <laughs> you act different when you know you're being watched. Are we ever truly free? Yeah. Yeah, just a free... We're mental slaves, man. This mental, It's all in here, bro. It's all in there. It's, everything's in the fucking dome. <laughs> in the cranium. All of it. Or at least that's how it feels to me. All of your perception of it. Mm-hmm. Or at least it feels like I'm localized in my head. There you we go. That's saying? fair. If you've ever That's why Jordan Peterson or... talks about it. Really? Yeah, he's like, some people say they're like, <laughs> I don't know, they feel themselves like in their, in their heart. But like, I feel my heart as well and like my gut, you know what I'm saying? Like I have those centers, like their heart or like their energy centers more or less or something like that, mm, mm. you know? But like, I feel centralized and localized in my dome. Yeah. Because like our eyesight is definitely... I guess if you, even if you close your eyes, I would still feel like, yeah, centralized like in my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm... <laughs> it's a spooky thing to feel. It's like, where is your, where is your... Where are you? Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's my eye. First of all, it's my POV makes me think that... POV gets you like in the first like fucking call of duty. I'm, it's like, it's here. It's uh-huh. not traveling. My sight's not traveling to my feet. It's just like going directly into that like brain, you know, yeah. to process. I could like transfer energy and move energy, move my attention to a part of my body. Right. And like, then I could feel that part of my body more. more so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I just it's my foot. That's weird. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can move your attention across your body, but it feels like it's localized in the head for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're like starving. Or then the Jordan, yeah, Jordan Pearson talks about that. He's like, some people feel localized in their, I feel localized in my mind, in my head, brain more so. But then some people feel a little more localized in their heart or their chest area. And then he's like, some people maybe more so in your stomach. And then he's like, I feel like he's coming to this like realization in mid sentence as he's like mid lecture. And he's like, yeah, it might make sense that you would be identify more so with localizing with your stomach more in ancient times back when we were like starving to death. Like all like that was more commonplace. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That's where the feeling is. You feel most. Of your, that's where you feel. Yeah. yeah. Where you, where's your, your attention? Your concentration is there. Yeah. Yeah. Your focus. Oh, what a harsh re- reality. Reproduce and eat. <laughs> And shit. Dude, being alive back then would have sucked ass. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 years ago, however fuck, long. Do you think they were however over there long. saying, fuck that, this sucks? What? Do you think, <laughs> you what think do you mean? They, they conceptualized that their conditions were, were ass. Or were they like, we just got one new rain tent that four of us can squeeze under, eight of us can get half covered. This is fucking awesome. I think yeah, I think it's probably more so like that. <sighs> How do you have think, any positivity right? at all back then? I don't dude. know, it's, or it's because it is what it is. You know, it just is what it is. I get it. It's just like living a hundred years ago. It's like they they didn't like I don't know. You know. <laughs> you can take that to any scale like how we feel now you know? <laughs> how do we feel about how we're living now no, I definitely know that I feel way better now than I feel great <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me personally I think this is a crazy cool time yeah great. craziest we are like maybe spoiled Americans in that sense where mm-hmm. there are places where definitely people are definitely still living terribly for sure 100% but compared to 10,000 years ago having AC chill last night Plumbing. I had chicken and salmon I went to the supermarket to get it. <laughs> Chill. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's like, nice. Yeah. Yeah. But 10,000 years ago, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Also, how much fulfillment would I gain if I were to become like a, a, one of the best spear fishermen people have ever heard of? Like I went down in war legend as <laughs> Matthew the spear fisher. The fucking crazy you know? guy. Like they're like, he had this thing. He had this thing. And then they called it AIM. And then, like, that word got invented because I was so good at spearfishing. Okay, yes. Like, that on. reality would be fi, right? <laughs> mm, I <laughs> love it. I guess, ultimately, like, if that, that's my fantasy of being alive 20,000 years ago, I guess what I'm trying to say is there, 
how fulfilling would it be to be good at something, even back then, to like the pursuit of being great at it would probably still be just as fulfilling as that is now. Yeah. You just wouldn't have AC, you know, but I think you'd still have purpose. That's what <laughs> yes, I'm getting at. Yes, 100%. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> there it is. Can't take that away. Can't. The meaning you derive from life. No one can take away the meaning you derive from your own life, you know? Yeah, I'm sure that their life. They try to derail you. Yeah, that's it. I had that realization. That's it. It's all you could try to do. That's all you got. That's That's all you got. That's That's your only move. The only. That's the only hope you have, Mm -hmm. and and it's just a delay. That's all you can do is delay. Yeah, my heart's the only. Oh yeah, you never touch my stride. My heart's the only thing you're breaking. Oh, that's so. That's just facts. My friend said that in a song. (laughs) It's a great song. Facts. The truth. Yeah, there's that mode where it's like I'm unstoppable. You derive your own meaning from your own life. And it's that's such a that's such a gift. That's such a it's also such a like responsibility and it a is. fucking burden. It you know is. what I'm saying? Because you you have to derive you have to make meaning out of your life. Because if you don't, it's gonna be terrible for you and everyone. And it, if you try, you might fail. But if you try and you succeed, then you will. It'll be worth it. And those those are your options. It's like oh, and that path is straight and narrow, cuh. <laughs> Preach. Crazy. Free tweet. I just <laughs> that's it. That's life right there in that nutshell. And it's worth it. Yeah, that's it. That's how I, we love that fucking that's our that's our slogan. Yeah, that's one of That's our just do it. Yeah. It's worth it. <laughs> just do it is worth it. Because it's like in that moment where you're <laughs> making thing. those calculations and you're doing the mathematics and you're trying to see if it's worth it to step out of the fucking boat that you're in into the discomfort your safety, zone. Yeah, your day to day comfort. Yep, yeah. and then ultimately the phrase that just every time, it's just like, it's worth it. Like, the exchange is worth it. Even if you fail, the exchange is worth it. The pursuit is worth it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, just do it. It's like, should I go outside and run, 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 run? Just do it. It's like, I think it, that, that's why the phrase hits, like, similarly in our mind. Yeah, it's the same, it's a sim- similar message or similar foundational, you know what I'm saying, root. It aspires to be a push into the pool. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're like, no, yes, no, it's cold. Yeah. But then you're in the pool. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said, I thought you meant like a pool like as well. It's like a push and a pull. Yeah. You know saying like to just do it. It's worth it. Like, come on. It's worth it. I like that conceptualization too. Yeah. I guess I was thinking about the exchange of like myself watching myself. And then I'm having that, that battle where my higher self is saying like, do it, do the right, do the right thing. Go on the run. Blah, 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 blah. And then my lower self was like, ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just want to mm-hmm. like push him into the action. I just want to like <laughs> go get know? in there, kid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think maybe life itself is more of a calling and a beckoning, and you can yes. feel that too. Uh-huh. I don't think it's it's not sitting there saying it's both. Do it, bro. <laughs> but it's like this, like just light, <laughs> this light drawing that if you like silence everything around you and you truly listen, it's like it is calling you forward. Mm-hmm. And that that's awesome. It's hard to lean on that because, like you said, everything is up here. So you're gonna have to channel yourself into listening to it at its own rate of talking to you, and be yeah. okay with that. Yeah, life itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta interact with the interface. It's a fucking interface, man. It's, it's wild. There's other times where it's super loud, just super loud, like day after day after day, just talking to me. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. this is crazy. Mm-hmm. This experience is nuts. Mm-hmm. Yes, you see, just yeah, just little connections and winks, and coincidences. Oh yeah, like I told you, I was wearing that tie, that one particular tie. It's like a kind of like a paisley patterned, like emerald green tie. It's lit. Got it for Christmas. Shout out my mom. Fucking litty tie. Top five. Top five. When I'm wearing that tie, I'm top five. It's in the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like fucking. There's, there's no one's touching me. Top in that five, time. what? Just, just top five. <laughs> there's no one's even close. Like it's, it's not even a debate. But I'm wearing that tie, and I always get a compliment or two on it for sure. But then that that particular night, it was just abundant. Like as soon as I walked in, boom. Not even an hour later, boom. Not even like an hour later, boom. And then like I had it racked it up to like six, seven, eight compliments that night. Just like wow, that's crazy. And then I, and within one of those compliments, just thinking about. The green, I was like, it's abundance, like money. I was thinking about fucking infinite pools of abundance. I was swimming in. Put cup running over type shit. Just trying to harness that energy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm attracting money with this shit. This shit's awesome. I love this time. And then, yeah, the next morning, took Moby on the walk, came back with moobs. 
And then in the mailbox, I had a fucking check. Fucking up a check. Ain't no check, telling. Check, check, check. <laughs> Never know. Just a fucking, you know, it was a amended tax return type shit. But either way, it was a crazy situation that led up to it just because I had like ruled it out. I had ruled it out so hard. So many, so many months ago, so many a moon ago, I was like, no, this thing ain't coming in. Let me look it up. Let me see. No, no, it's not coming in. All right. Like, it's completely written off. It's just done. Out of the story. Completely out of the narrative. I wrote that character off. I was like, oh, they died. <laughs> <laughs> you never saw them die, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get me back. <laughs> it's like, bro. Yeah. Let's then go. he came back with interest. <laughs> Let's go. More than the expected amount. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I had to go on the IRS website and fucking verify the check. I was like, this is a real check. Oh, my gosh. This is real. This is a real check. I was so I was that uncertain. <laughs> I was like, "There's no way." Like, what the fuck's going on with this? But yeah, I just completely wrote that wrote that thing off, and then just re-entered my narrative. And the timing of things, and like, I was thinking about the idea, the, the just the phraseology of the timing of things is no coincidence. And like, just I remember telling that to my fiance, just like in in her own particular story, and like our lives are just going crazy right now. Both of our lives are just like, <laughs> like fireworks are going off. It's like, this shit's popping off over here. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> this is like, we're near the season finale. It's wild. It's another, I don't even know what's going on. It's another, we're about to head into the reaping season, you know? But we're, we're just working all summer, you know? Pushing, we pushed through July. I put some work in July this year. I don't even know what it was. Like, around that fourth, this, this, to start the year, or start the month. Just put in fucking July work, huh? Really? It's going off. What'd you do? That's why I started probably incorporating the, the dishes thing in the morning. Nice. And yeah, started the business plan, and then Let's fucking go. just went ham on Fourth of July itself. Like woke yeah. up at five thirty, fucking whatever in the morning, worked out, then hit the fucking shit. Came home with swollen feet. <laughs> talk that talk. It's <laughs> crazy shit, bro. Just going hard this month. Let's go. So we're entering that reaping season. We reaping, dude. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie with you. Just being in this conversation with you right now, and just having you be like, dude, this month. I got all this EXP. I was like, my <laughs> EXP just started going up too. I was like, holy shit, I'm getting levels right now. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, bro. <laughs> that's, cool, baby. That's, that's what made me realize. I was just like, man, the power of your circle is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Because like, man, you could be sitting here telling me fucking some wild shit. You know what I'm saying? Any infinite number of things could have happened. <laughs> yeah. Are happening right now. That would in, that I don't always feel the influence happening to me, but right then I was just like <laughs> strength, inspiration, boop, 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 prayer. Boop, boop. It's like this is nuts, bro. Come on, yeah, bro, bro. It's, yeah, it's, it's been fucking wilding. But I just remember having that phraseology like, yeah, timing is no coincidence. And then having so then having that check come in right after that, like that green tie money attraction, and then there was like two other events like that were leading up the day previous and the day previous to that. That was like the check was like the third thing. And then like with the money trope the third time. And then it was just like so unexpected character narrative fucking explosion. <laughs> it was like, whoa. And then I remember like realizing that <laughs> like my fiance just like, I like scared her almost. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it was like bang, bang, bang. Like I was like just looking over the life film. And then, yeah, I was like, hit, hit, hit. I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Just a three. Just, you got me tripping, dude. Just lined up. Wilding. So shit will line up for you. Life will talk to you. It's crazy. Sometimes it'll, it's it'll loud. It'll talk to you. Sometimes it's super loud. You can't turn it down. It's beautiful. That's perfect. That's it's what just, we want. Mm -hmm. People wish God would just scream their name and tell them what to do. You know what I'm saying? I wish it was easy. Yeah. Or I wish it was simple. Everything. <sighs> Amen. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm not saying I know what God wants. Absolutely. You know yeah. It's the hardest thing in the world. I wouldn't dare to. It's I, so ambiguous. This, this whole thing is so ambiguous. Yeah. There's, so ambiguous. there's times in my life where I know that I have done the wrong thing and times in my life where I know I've done the right thing. Facts. And I, I definitely base what I believe God wants for me based off of those experiences, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like there are definites from time to time, but it's most, mostly a faith-driven relationship because it's mostly a faith-driven life. That's yes. like... Yes, bro, hundred percent. Major key, right there. You know there. the thing. I, another thing I realized, or another thing I was pondering. What's that? It's like the same way that no one could be definitive about what happens after life. Like no one could be definitive of what's happening in life. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? All we're doing is our best to articulate what we think is happening. Yeah. Anyone, and we could all just like come to common places based on our own experience, and like based on the way you like. I don't know. Like when I hear Jordan Peterson talk, I'm just like. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you mean? They tried to tell me no, I said no, motherfucker. Yes. 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 Jordan Peterson, show. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Whenever, Blue Jasmine. <laughs> when you hear him say, when you hear him speak words, and you sit on your couch and you're just like, "Yes, yes," like, what do you, what do you mean? When, what do you, yeah, what do you mean? It's just something you feel it, or like when you, or I guess definitely whenever you're in agreement with someone about something, you're like, especially like if you're sitting at a table with people, or like in a fucking lunch room, and people are talking, and someone says they like this or they like that, or they don't like this, they don't like that. You're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then, but if someone is talking about objective reality and like the basis of what the fuck's happening here, I'm like just a super skeptical, not super skeptical, per, per, uh, skeptical person, but just hesitant to agree, you know, wholeheartedly with something. But when he's talking, it's easy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, there are times where I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if I would like, I think maybe that is not true in this particular scenario, or I think you're, this is, or you're giving more importance to this instead of looking at it through this or something, you know what I'm saying? I, but just talking with people. Yeah. Or listening to anybody talk about anything, it's like okay, yeah, I agree. Or especially if you're, or if someone's just talking about life, everyone has an interpretation of maybe what's going on here. Maybe it's more specialized. Like if you know about a particular thing, like a particular field of study, and you're talking about that, and you literally have no idea what the fuck they're, 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 they're talking about, be like, okay, I'm gonna shut up and like take what is potentially true. But he's just talking about abstract concepts. And I guess like he has religious, he uses like religious symbology, like symbology and those stories to articulate just kind of what he thinks is going on here. But if you like just strip away the religious notion and just like listen to what he thinks about what's happening in life, it's like, that's the, where I'm listening to it from. And I just like, okay, yeah, I see what you're talking about. I can see where that's how that's true. I can see how that's not true or whatever. But for the most part, I'm just like, he's just hitting me. He's just hitting me. Everything he's saying is hidden. It's like, okay, yeah, that's fucking most of the time. It's like hitting deep too. Sometimes if someone's like really, are you really fucking feeling it? It's just like at a, such a depth. You're just like so engaged with what they're saying. Yeah. Or at least you want to listen to what they have to say next. Yeah. It's a format where he's also expressing ideas. It's like if, if someone's just in conversation, it's rare that you're like so drawn to what they're saying. You put down everything you're doing because mm -hmm. most people aren't presenting life truth like that. Sometimes in the middle of debate, somebody's like, okay, well, you're talking about this and you're talking about this. But what we're not talking about, and you're like, oh, shit, what's happening here? <laughs> and then they just, like, kind of go in and, like, you know, could not not just convince you, but you're like, oh, my gosh, they're right. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, mm -hmm. that's the best argument I've heard. But there's also something different with Jordan Peterson where it's, like, in my chest. My yeah. heart starts to, like, flutter. Yeah. I, all of a sudden, I feel, like, inspired. I feel, like, activated. I'm like, yo, this is. Yeah, right. This is it right here. Like, yes. Yes, that. <laughs> right. right there. What the. Like, yeah. and it's, I don't know. I don't, strange. I don't think, do you think like a religious cult leader could also get us to be like, yes, yes, <laughs> potentially, potentially. Joe Rogan says that your ability to, your, the degree to which you will say yes to anybody means you could have got got by anybody. But I disagree in that regard with me, me and Jordan Peterson. Cause yeah. like, that shit's different. I'm like, I don't think I don't think that you could convince me as much because yeah. I don't think you could create an axiom that I believe more than I believe this. Yeah. He's not asking us to do anything or like you know what I'm saying? It's part of the be part of his weird fucking cult. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. no butt play. Like <laughs> I know how they do it over there. The, it's fucking weird people. The concern is like group think and mind virus. Uh-huh. Cause like the there's a lot of people that say Man, they shouldn't have missed Donald Trump. Yeah. There's a lot of people in college saying that just to say it. Because it's like, I think, in my opinion, that's like a group think mind virus. They're like, they're convinced of things that don't make sense, you know? Be in a civil war. <laughs> Some crazy shit would be going down. We'd be, oh gosh. Yeah, bro, I don't even fucking know. Well, their group crazy. think was like that Donald Trump was going to be the end of democracy. That he was not going to step down after four years. It was going to turn into a tyranny. And allegedly... That's, that's, the, or that's a proposed narrative? Or yeah. Like, or, well, it's definitely been said, and uh -huh. it floats around. And then, especially on... Maybe not on Bernie Sanders saying that, but on TikTok, what they're actually watching for the news and stuff, it's a lot of highlighting those moments where leaders in the DNC have said things like that. 
And allegedly, that's the stuff that got to the shooter that made him feel like he was doing America justice by assassinating Donald Trump because he's like a fucking villain. Damn. And I think that's wow. almost the direct product of just like a groupthink mind virus. Mm -hmm. I just think it's like. It's the a fucking narrative, bro. I've been. We, we started rewatching Game of Thrones uh -huh. on, or I guess last week. Gas. It's just so gas. It's. I've, I've seen. I've seen all the seasons once, at least. I've seen the first season probably. This is probably like my fourth time maybe or so watching the, the first season. Mm -hmm. But it's... And then, yeah, it's my fiance's second time watching it all the way through. Uh -huh. And it's just like, it's been long enough to where she's forgotten. And it's... Even I've forgotten some of this stuff. Because there's so much shit that goes on. There's so many characters deep. Like, off the fucking jump. It's like... It's 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 better the second time around, ultimately. Because it's it's cool to watch her experience it and be able to live that vicariously or experience it as well it's like gosh this show is so fucking good this story, this story is so fucking good it's so crazy but it's just the story about the the fucking the narrative that people are fed of what's going on here and who controls the truth ultimately you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. it's like what's true and what's honorable and what's right and who's in charge and who has power mm -hmm. and it's like all of that just like mixed into one in the fucking mystical land of mm. like crazy Harry Potter world, you know, what awesome. I'm saying on steroids. It's awesome. Yeah, with a whole bunch of a whole bunch of nudity. <laughs> but, just, no, it ain't like Harry Potter in that regard. Just to make sure <laughs> that it really stuck. Yeah, watch out, y'all. <laughs> Don't be watching this with your kids. I promise you. Heard, heard. It's wildin'. Yo, it's wildin'. These are things. These are things that fascinate us. Yeah, I think it's partially why it hits so hard as well for people. It's like, yeah, it's it's a show about politics, more or less. Mm. <laughs> it's just dressed up with medieval sci-fi fantasy garb, you know? And politics, well, I don't know, man. None of us are actually involved in politics. politics. But everyone is. It, it, you probably exist in a system, and that system probably does have politics in play. Mm -hmm. Not all of them do, but some of them have a lot. So mm -hmm. it's hard to say. But it does fascinate us. But I think that Jordan Peterson hits us because it's just a medium for truth. He's just like preaching and we're just like that's his intent as well you know yeah that's what he's trying to do yes it's like yeah you're fucking doing it bro <laughs> that shit just <laughs> that shit's just hidden bro that's he hits hidden bro hidden, but the, bro. okay so that thought also combined <clears throat> with like when i watch remember the titans or i watch fucking tom clancy michael b jordan or i watch the last dance like things happen people say things and i like well up with tears because i'm so emotionally moved by like what I'm watching and like how much I agree with like the when the coach is like talking to the players at the fucking he takes them on a run because they're fighting at camp a bunch and uh, this is remember the Titans mm -hmm. and he takes them on a run and it's like four in the five in the morning and it's like a bunch of fog everywhere and it's like they just like they run for a long time and then people start obviously getting tired and then they keep running and people are like throwing up and then they keep running people are like passing out and then eventually they get there and they're all like dying right. And then he just starts saying, like, you know, we're all, this right here is a, a burial site from one of the fights over Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. It's like they had brothers fighting brothers and sons fighting fathers. And all these people who couldn't just unite on, like, one cause killed, like, thousands of people over something that was clearly wrong. And then, like, right now you guys are more or less doing the exact same thing just in this current day and time. It's like, we just have to, like, if if, if we can't come together, then, like, we should just not even do this anymore. It's just like, they, they died. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't even want to play it. They died because they couldn't get it right. Right. Like, <clears throat> and then more or less, like, they're so inspired at that point, they start, like, being cool with each other. And yeah. then they start having fun. And then once they have to start having fun, they're, like, good. You know? Start winning. They start going crazy, bro. They start winning, winning. And, like, that shit is, like... So, just in that point of view, that guy talking that truth, I'm, like, so moved, bro. Like, everybody's so moved, bro. It's like, fuck, man. Like, that's it. Like, what is that thing? Jordan Peterson's doing that thing, too. Where it's, like, you're talking at such a high-frequency, elevated truth in this moving way mm -hmm. where you just get moved. Like, I don't think I'm getting moved by someone selling me a religious cult. You know? Yeah. I don't think so.
No, nah, definitely no butt play. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't moving me. Hey, moving my spirit, bro. Yeah, what the fuck are we talking about? I guess yeah, I know, I've never seen. I know Joe Rogan's mentioned a whole bunch of times, and there's definitely a couple documentaries and shit like on Netflix and Hulu and whatnot. But I've never seen one. But my thought is just like, how do you get swindled into that? How do you get that pulled into something? You know, into one of those things. I've heard him talk about it, so I can gather and generalize a little bit of what about. How it's just so crazy. And I guess they they like fake perform miracles and make people believe in crazy shit like that. Or like yeah. they, they can, they healed a broken leg, but like it was never broken in the first place. They just put a cast on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit like that. Yeah. Or whatever. But that, that's fucking wild. Like, how do you? Huh. Scary shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Yeah, if you could just get that, that swindled I, into it. If I had to give you like a. Oh, I'm, I'm always so fucking. Sorry, I, I'd be like. It probably wasn't broken. <laughs> That's great. That would cross my mind. That would definitely cross my mind. I've watched enough Game of Thrones. <laughs> if I was a kid and you were my dad, and that was the first thing you said when I saw a miracle happen, I would think you were an asshole. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, "How is that what you think right now?" Be like, if it's true. But but I also now as an adult that has to be mature has to say like it's good to be that skeptical, right? Yeah. Because because also here's the thing: if we're all gonna be like very emotional if we're gonna shake up our fucking axioms it has to be true yeah you need to be able to be super skeptical with yourself and what you deem to be true yeah you know what i'm saying because if derek's gonna tell me he caught a fucking 70 foot bass it's the biggest <laughs> bass anyone's ever seen guinness is coming down like i can't i would like change my conceptualization of like so many things so like that's a really demonstrative example of uh, anytime you're gonna like brag about something or say you ran this time or I lifted this weight, it's like I'm gonna change the way I fucking I might start I'll be like where are you fishing at? And then I might spend my whole life fishing in that place I thought he caught that seventy foot bass, <laughs> but it was just a lie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so like I don't like to be skeptical of people. I like to believe people. I that's, would love to. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. That was perfect. <laughs> That's it. Enough show. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, we have to. It had to be. Yeah. You have to. The the world just motherfuckers out there. There's motherfuckers out there. It's so easy to lie. People. people so are, easy. So easy. So easy, bro. For some people, it's so simple. It's so quick and yeah, so effortless to do. Or maybe I, not effortless, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know. You know what I'm saying. I give a fuck about not telling lies. Like I give a fuck. It got to the point where I was counting how many lies a day I was telling when I worked at Saltgrass. Because the tables... Them up. Sometimes they'll be just like... Look at it. Just look at them. Yeah! Just look at the board. Look at the scoreboard. Because it'll make you sick. <laughs> yeah. You need to get sick sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, I would end up telling people like, I'm still going to school. Or, I'm, oh yeah, I'm going back to school soon. Or, I want to finish that degree fucking bullshit dog <laughs> fucking bull i would be like i'd be sitting in my car and be like i'm not malarkey <laughs> oh malarkey <laughs> <laughs> i am not going back to get that degree like I, that is not my plan right now fuck around play around if i just tell people that's my plan and then in the back of my head i'm like oh i might do that it's like no <laughs> we're doing this focus on this you have to this is this is this is more true yeah yeah and, and also it's it it's more what, what i want i'm wearing line my energy just whatever what gets diluted if I have these stories of possibilities of things I might be interested in, it's like I need my attention directly aligned with this thing. Yeah. That was part of the importance Just of cutting out the... Centralize it. Yeah. Instead of being like me? a flashlight, it's like a fucking laser beams. <laughs> yeah. To everybody, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Because mm-hmm. telling people, oh, I'm a rapper, while I'm serving them a steak of salt grass, it's just like such a polarizing moment. How does anybody... Anybody that told me that it just requires further questions, it just requires further questions, and and then oh yeah, but opens the whole door. <laughs> but also the perception is my perception is kind of my money I'm gonna make. I need to be like not an actor per se, but like I have to give a fuck what they think about me. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you ask me about my identity in any other setting, I don't have to give a fuck what you think about me. So it'd be like this whole little like dance around, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, weird little dance around. How do I phrase this in a way where you're going to not, or I, I don't know, where I'm going to gel with you? Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Like had to be laser beam focused, centralized on my sense of self. Mm-hmm. Yes, bro. All that to say, well, not all that to say, but back to what that, that also, what we're talking about, how do you get swindled into things? Mm. That's like, if I have to give you a Christ. logical answer, bro, like uh-huh. people that lack that sense of self. Yes. 
I big think time. I'm looking forward to someone else. Mm. For sure. Yeah. Or something else outside of themselves. Yes. It's all in here, baby. It's all in here. It's all, all right. in here and here and here. <laughs> like, those are the three. Don't be looking anywhere else. Yeah, that's it. But also, the God that exists outside of you. There's a lot. It's so deep. It's so yeah. profound. Bro, you know what else I was going to... Oh, hold on. I'm going to look up because I fucking... JBP had that podcast with Joey Rogue recently. Fucking love it. Fucking yeah. love it. Talking about Exodus. Talking about the important shit. I came out Thursday. How long are we on this spot? 40 minutes? Yeah. I just get sad when it's over, so I'm always like... What's going on over there? Here I am having anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> We're chilling. But yeah, that came out Thursday. <clears throat> but then, yeah, on Sunday... Did you see the CBC service? No. Pastor Ed, I'm not sure if we talked about it in every service, but he, he mentioned it in the 12 o'clock for sure. Right? No, no, no. It was a different time. It was 1130. Because they, they changed up the times. So he mentioned in the 11.30, for sure. But he was just talking about, uh, and it's crazy, too, because we were going, we were driving up to it, heading in, driving in, and then, <clears throat> like, driving up to a light to turn left into the spot, and then Victoria's bringing up her phone, talking about, she was on Facebook, just, like, looking up stuff, whatever. And then she's just like, man, I'm done with the Olympics. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, didn't they like, just start? <laughs> like, they started on Friday, I'm pretty sure. And that Jordan Peterson podcast was on Thursday. Okay. But because I was like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm going to re- be referencing to? I, I saw a video last night and I think that I do. Okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, then she was like, yeah, the fucking opening ceremony. It's all some shit. Yeah. And I was just like, what? And I was like, yeah, they're doing like, they were like, it was like, a, and not interpretation or whatever the fuck it was. Whenever opening ceremony, how many opening ceremonies? Uh, either way, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Within the opening ceremony. Talk to me. Yeah, boy. it was just a rendition of the Last Supper with people in drag. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen that one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then Pastor Ray, and I was just like, what the fuck? That's so weird. That's so random. Why would anyone like do that? I saw a different opening ceremony ritual that they said was like, uh, the conspiracy video I was watching said it was a satanic ritual, more or less. Wait, where? Uh, uh, like the same the same ritual? It, well, it was a different part where this person's oh, like... Olympics? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 2024? This, this person's getting off of a white horse, uh-huh. and the white horse has like... When it lines up with the wings they put on the Eiffel Tower, it's got like the wings behind this horse, and it's like more or less uh, representing through this interpretation like the horse of the apocalypse. And then this like person gets down, and they're like, I guess representing death, the person that would ride the horse of apocalypse. White horse. And then they're like dressed like a fucking, like they're wearing like all gray and all black, and then it's like real like uh, it's almost like a costume. It is a costume, and they have like no face. And it's like spooky, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they're like carrying this like blanket to be sacrificed in front of like a giant gold cow head. And it's pretty fucked up, dude. It's pretty fucked up shit. And then they were like, what the fuck is going on in the Olympics? I don't know, bro. Who's hosting this shit? Or It's Paris, but sorry, continue. Like who's in charge of this shit for real, for real? Yeah, that's a, that's a question. <laughs> no, but then I hear you Golden talking about bullhead. this. I hadn't even heard of that. Yeah, there was a fucking, there was a, like a portion of it where, yeah, it was a whole bunch of, I guess, like 12 people dressed up in drag and like a, like a, at a Last Supper type rendition. Okay. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know how to take that. What had happened at church? Oh, yeah. Mary, was, Victoria mentioned it before we went into church. Oh, okay. And then in, I was like, that was crazy. And then in church, yeah, Pastor Ray talks about it a little bit. Okay, yeah. Oh, what's like, his oh, context? What and he was just saying, he's like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing my, I'm doing my, my sermon or whatever he's saying, like my sermon right now. Like, I'm, I'm going to take a step outside of that if, you, if you'll allow me. <laughs> he's just like, because there was a, uh, I forget what, what verse it was, but there's a verse where it's like, God will not be mocked. God will not be something, something. And, and he's like, he mentions that verse and then he steps outside of the service sermon and it's like, He's like, and I don't know what's going on with like the the Olympics or whatever, but like, why? There's they, they didn't make fun of like Buddha. They didn't make fun of like like any other religion or whatever. He names a couple of other religions, but he's more or less just like, like my God will not be mocked. Like we're like this is uh, I don't even know what else. There was just nothing like hostile or like truly hostile. You know what I'm saying or anything like he that. He wasn't like we gonna spit that block player. He yeah. <laughs> wasn't like that, but. No, no, he was just like, <laughs> th- th- like that's all some fucked up shit. So it's all some random shit. It's all some like, what the fuck shit, you know? It's like, that's... What's going on here? Exactly. It's yeah. just super questionable, super random and weird and kind of like out of place and unnecessary, you Dude, know? We're cracked for talking about this kind of stuff on the air. <laughs> but yeah, I'm with you. I don't know. Fuck them. This is our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What the fuck is that? Yeah. What are you doing? So strange. Like, I've never seen a, an Olympic opening ceremony before. 
That's like so a I thing guess I don't know what to expect. But it's just like, I, I don't know why. That's so... That's, okay, okay. I guess I, I want to know who's, who's like coordinating all this, you know? Yeah, why? Because now people are talking about it. Maybe it was just like to bring up hostility and whatever. Yeah. Or just to... To poke a bear, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? You Whatever. want to poke God? Yeah, you're crazy. Is it just Christians? <laughs> oh yeah, that too. I guess I don't know. You know, I don't know. Like, what? One thing is that apparently Russia and China <clears throat> both want to like poison our culture hmm. and create self hostility. They they want that civil war that might have happened if Donald Trump had been got 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 got. I think that some people say that China's been trying to do that for like 20 years and that TikTok is a result of that and that um uh, okay so there's mm. like on Facebook there's 20 if you just wanted to look for like a Christian Facebook group there's 20 like if you could put the number of members in numerical order descending 1 through 20 set aside right of the biggest ones that there are only one of those isn't like a Russian troll farm what the yeah, Christian, Christian wait, wait, search search groups or Christian groups. Like, um, if you were to look up like a, like a Christian friends group or a Christian church group, uh huh, it's like a social page you could join. Yes, <clears throat> of those top twenty, nineteen of those were fake pages made by fake people in Russia. In Russia, that's so strange. That's yeah. so strange. As you're talking about this, I'm thinking about the idea that every nation. The same, everything is built on the judgment and the judgment is going to determine your choices and what you do and what you think and what you say and what you allow and what you don't allow and what you consistently do. That's all a result of your judgment. And every country is a result of judgments or, you know what I'm saying? Like we're all based on a doctrine and like we're all based on something. We're all founded on something, some ideology that controls our laws, that controls our, how we regulate things, all that shit. And it's all ideas and just like our belief systems. And we're fucking founded on Christianity, more or less. Like, Western Western civilization. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's say America is specifically founded on democracy. Well, our money and God freedom. we trust. You know yeah, what I'm true, saying? true. Just like... Super true. What we're, what we're founded on. And it's like our, even like our yeah, founding yeah, fathers yeah, talk yeah. about that shit, you know? Yeah. Like, the building blocks for what the founding fathers built was yeah. from the building blocks of their Christian faith. Their ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their, their values. The, the way that they perceive the world. Like, what the fuck are we doing here? We need to sacrifice properly if we want to have a fucking shot at any of this. Hmm. You know, that's like what Jordan Peterson's preaching about, like, what the Bible's about, ultimately. It's like the ultimate, like, Jew, J, Judeo-Christian belief is that, like, sacrifice has to be done properly for us hmm. to even have a chance. And if you, like, the, if you ultimately sacrifice the ultimate thing to your ultimate potential... For as long as you can, like that's like your your ability to be like saved, and like life will be worth it, more than worth it. Actually, it'll be you'll have a blessed life. It's like oh, yes. fuck, that's possible. Yes, it is. Because it's fucking also possible to have a really shitty life, easy, and to Super not make sacrifices easy. and to not take up the responsibility that's required and necessary to fulfill the sacrifices that are required and necessary <laughs> to feel good about this thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I do. To not be sitting in your own shit. Yeah. Ugh, that's rough. Fuck that. It's the worst, literally. So like, we're built on that. Like everything's built on something, and like that's what we're built on. I think as a, as a society. So maybe they're trying to poison that. That's maybe, dangerous. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're attacking Christianity specifically. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that too. I saw I was telling the lady. I was like, man, this is a maybe they're scared. The elites or whoever, because I think I forget who where I got this information from. I'm just pulling it. I'm sorry. Don't have any any credential or like credible sources at all. But there was someone who said. uh they studied multiple religions, multiple theologies, multiple origin myths, everything, whatever. Looking through a whole bunch of shit. And they were saying that Christianity was cool. I'm not even sure if I can back this up, but hopefully it's true. They're saying Christianity was cool specifically because within its own perception of what the hell's going on here and what we think about like creation and the creator and our relationship with it, whatever it is, that we are we – are, it's – special because we mentioned that or we're the only one that mentions that it's like hosted within our own self or it's like we're the host of it it lives within us it's like we are that connected to it oh okay you know what i'm saying yeah. it's not something outside of yourself that you worship like you you could it's in here yeah it's like we host it we have like the super powerful it's like super empowering yeah it is it's like the same thing that created the universe and the universe created planets that created like all have all these people all of them have all these fucking animals and plant life and all this life and all this crazy shit that's going on on these planets, like that was created by the universe. Like that creative force is the same creative force 
that's like within yourself and it's like outside of creation itself but it's also here with you as well it's what animates you it's like the basis of our like like, like our, our, our our faith you know it's like special or it's like different because of that particularly it's like one of its defining characteristics Dude, you're going off <laughs> keep going please. It's just, they're trying to fuck that, that shit's that shit's powerful yeah. that's a very powerful thing to be telling people it it's is like, you don't need anybody you don't need shit like you just need to be able to sacrifice properly you're, you're right you know what I'm saying well, why don't they want prosperity and freedom and individual because it's prosperity. easier I don't know right what the fuck why wouldn't you want <laughs> what that what the fuck you don't want winners like what the fuck dude but here's the they thing they don't want to be challenged they don't want change they just want more control Right, definitely. More chaos. If corporations... Not have, a united front. Yeah. Yeah, they want us to be working class. They want everybody working. Yeah. Those hunter families or however many people. Yeah. Hunter families, I, God knows how many. And Russia and China definitely want to disrupt us as far as just like... We're, we're the LeBron James of countries. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? It's our flag barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's scary, bro. <laughs> what a sight to behold. See us coming. That man's 40 <laughs> and a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, yeah, but that's iconic, right? But that's it's a great it's a great idea for what I'm trying to say. As far as I think that China and Russia, well, whatever foundational core they're built on. And wherever they landed now, because I think a lot of people would argue back that we've gotten away from what, you know. Now, whose fault is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that what are you going to say? Right, right. But you get the idea that current day we've gotten away from what Thomas Jefferson wanted from us. Whatever Russia was founded on, there's definitely a high likelihood that the way that Putin is running Russia now isn't aligned with the way that it's supposed to be run mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. its core and its foundation. Mm-hmm. Regardless, though. It does seem to me that even up to like the 1970s and the 1980s, the way that Russia was being ran and the way that China was being ran and the way that the United States were being run as global superpowers, that we, I mean, we had to fucking go to war with like Germany and uh, I don't think Russia was on our side for that. I don't know my history as well as I should. Yeah, that was the Axis and the Allies. It was like Japan, Germany, PJ, I don't even know who else. Italy. Some European motherfuckers, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> regardless the cold war and what was world war ii about that was the nazis yeah, 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 yeah. concentration camps pearl harbor for whatever reason it seems like russia's become like our number one op you know what i'm saying yeah what is up with that we didn't even have like global conflict with them leading up to this i think russia had their own civil war i think that's maybe where uh Dostoevsky came from and people like that okay then like people jordan pearson talks about yeah like uh, the Gulag. Okay. That's a Russia. Yes. Okay. Well, I also... I don't I, know. Somewhere over there. A lot of what I know about Russia is that and during those times, they were living in like extreme dictatorship. Soviet Russia. Yeah. Hard conditions. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like communism way gone out of hand. They were one of the reasons we were like, we can't have communism. Look at fucking Russia. You want to live like the Russians? Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. 1984 was written In about Russia, Russia, car drives you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or whatever bro. the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Remember that family guy joke? There we go. Hell yes, bro. Boom. We're pulling. We're pulling facts there. Yeah, we're getting some kind of substantial Come on shit. now. I got family guy facts. <laughs> <laughs> I've used a lot of Joe Rogan facts too. It's okay. Yeah. But all that to say, it seems like even up to the 1970s and the 1980s that the United States definitely needed to have some kind of like morality drove us and we were trying to spread that morality. That's one of the reasons we went into Iraq was to try to deliver democracy. We were quote unquote, but the one of the reasons that worked <laughs> is because we were a country that felt like we had to spread democracy. These motherfuckers don't have these freedoms that we have and we got to go out there and try to give them to people, you know? And with that being said, I do think that if China and Russia are corrupt and America used to be about getting rid of the corruption, that it would make sense to cause social strife and discord in America mm-hmm. to try to destabilize us as a global superpower mm-hmm. for the next 100 years of control over this planet. Yeah, it's all, it all falls back to control. And it's like, what the fuck? Why? What are you doing? What are you even doing? I think it's something like... Fucking I, losers, dude. <laughs> this guy makes $50 billion. As long as trillion, he, okay. Sorry, continue. <laughs> he makes fifty billion as long as he continues this pursuit of corrupting for money. 
And ultimately, he could go from fifty billion to two hundred and fifty billion if America were to fall, and and that's the only game they're playing anyways, or they're gonna get shot. So I think it's an easy sell. Fuck the Americans. Now I could just be that could be a lot of Tom Cruise propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I might be brainwashed by seeing a ton of Hollywood, but it seems like that's what's going on behind the scenes here is that Russia and China have spent a lot of time and a lot of money. Engaging in ways to socially disrupt what we have going on here. So it's not a far fetch for me to think that China and Russia, or just China solely or Russia solely, Mm -hmm. some group got together, wealthy individuals, planned this last dinner with cross dressing people. Because the number one question for me right away was were they making fun of it? Is that what they were doing? Like, I don't know. You could tell me that they were. It wasn't a coincidence. Trying to integrate that faith with their subculture like sorry one more time <laughs> even the cross dresses need jesus justin i agree <laughs> i agree yeah. no no no. i know i know you do i'm all for it but i think maybe, what like the, the potential argument is that was the statement okay that they were like we love jesus if that was the intent yeah okay it could also be if i were to be a conspiracy theorist it could be an attempt to try to get discord in local churches now it looks like maybe like that. churchgoers right. aren't supportive of the LGBTQ. And if you turn that monster on the churchgoers, it's a fucking... Don't give us that virus. They tried mm-hmm. to cancel Jordan Peterson. Mm-hmm. Don't be trying to cancel our pastors. Come on now. But some pastors might have to think they have to say something about that. And maybe some of them are bigots. And that's an even bigger problem because now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Just stir them up. Those waves will ripple out. And then... You know, cause its own discord. I'm saying, bro, so Brother. we never know, you know? You never know. You never know. Bro, you never know, people. You never fucking know people. Always be skeptical. Remain skeptical. One of the stats you can take to definitely think that China might be doing something along those lines is that China TikTok and American TikTok are two different algorithms for people, especially for kids. Like, kids get shown a lot more, like, uh, like science, mathematics, art. It's like their TikTok is algorithm is way more educational based especially for younger age groups whereas ours has like no fucking filter it might even be like horrible shit is more likely to pop up Mm -hmm. and also they shut they shut tiktok off in japan or in china there's like a time where like kids can't get on tiktok anymore it's like the law damn we don't have that shit here dude they're going off over there what the fuck yeah (laughs) that shit's why would they do that for them and not us you know what i'm saying Mm-hmm. It's like that. That's obvious. There's some kind of at least they don't give a fuck about us. Maybe we're their we're their guinea pig to see if they don't regulate it. What would happen? Assholes, pinche assholes, dude. Yeah, why would it not just be the same thing? Yeah, that's what I tell people. Like, I'm genuinely concerned about China's uh, behind the curtain infiltration Motives. into American culture. I got it. They own a lot of property, a lot of companies. I got it. What the fuck they're doing? How much of China do we own? Um, None. We'll never know, but... I think we owe China a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, right. I think we owe them some money. Yeah. Well, Potentially. I... I have no idea. I'm just speculating here. Speculate with me. <laughs> I think we owe them a lot of money. Maybe like a lot, a lot of money. They're a much older society than we are. They're Maybe. probably a lot wealthier. They've been around for multiple thousand more years, huh? Or at least a thousand more years? How yeah. long? Oh. So let's Google that shit. It's Get that fucking out. yeah, bro. We could chat GPT all of this shit. We're finna chat GPT. How many open ceremonies have there been in the Olympics in general? And what were they? Who directed them? Yep. Who funded them? Chat GPT. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, y'all. If you ain't using Chat GPT yet, you behind, son. You falling <laughs> behind. I'm using it. And I'm falling behind. It's like it's it's moving fast, y'all. If you're not using it, I remember doing an interview with somebody, and I was talking to him about wine. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's like Pinot Noir, Cabernet, like some reds, definitely those two for sure. And then Chardonnays, the whites, those are like probably the three most important to start with. Get those going. Let's go to ChatGPT. Do you use ChatGPT? They're like, no. I was like, kid, you're falling behind. (laughs) I didn't say that. (laughs) You're basically wearing Converse in today's NBA. What are you doing? (laughs) It's tough. But I feel when we worked with our friend Daniel – and he had discovered ChatGPT. I felt like he felt that way about us. And it also, and then when I felt my dad feel that way about it, I was like, okay, this is, this is like provocative. I was like, let me, let me figure out what y'all are on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because 
provocative in the sense of provoked action. But and and they were right, and you were right, and you're right right now. It, it, it sounds harsh, but yeah, you should get on ChatGPT. It's crazy. Yeah, you could do a lot of shit on there. You could do a lot of shit on there really quick. One thing I have ChatGPT open. What was the thing we wanted to look up first? Uh, oh yeah, when was China founded, and when was America founded? Founded is probably the wrong word for China, but. <laughs> Yeah, the first Chinese dynasty. When was that established? So there's some more typing right here. There we go. <laughs> it, it wanted to tell me that You're the welcome. People's Republic of China occurred on 1949, and I'm just like, there is no fucking way. 1949 just started. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> they restarted. It's the update. It's the new, <laughs> yeah. the new version. I don't even know what BCE is, but it says the Before first common era. Okay, yeah, the first Chinese BC. dynasty is traditionally considered to be the. XIA, I don't know, Chi, Chia Dynasty, which is Chia! <laughs> in 2070 BCE. 2070. Yeah. So, yeah, how does how, how do years go again? So, it's like we're in 2024 and we go back to zero. Yep. Is that, that's, that's, as far de- as I know. Death of Jesus? Yeah. The, the birth of Jesus. I think that's, uh, well, there's AD and that's after death. After death, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, we're in, we're in AD. Yeah. So, then what happens when we. <laughs> He's 33, so after death, so 33 years before that. Is that zero? Those were the only real, real years. <laughs> everything else was just... Everything else has been a projection. Simulation. A simulation. I couldn't fucking do it. So, it's, so Jesus dies, or he is born. So I guess he dies. That, that's zero. Okay, so now we're going. So then before he dies, he has a 33-year lifespan. So what's that? Is that BCE... One, two, you know what I'm saying? It's like 33 BCE or BC. Logically, they Zero. probably... Was he born? <laughs> <laughs> 33 BC. When was Jesus born? It's got to be. Zero? No, here's what I think. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, GBT. <laughs> here's what it is, okay? Okay. Because when Jesus, like, I'm life's losing happening... Here. I'm losing myself here. <laughs> life's happening and then Jesus is born, but, like, they say he's the Messiah, but they're not, like, you know what I'm saying? They don't know. They for don't sure, know. for sure. But they still try to kill him. They still try to make sure it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And then... As a baby? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they were pursuing them. That's why they had to go have uh, a baby in a manger. Was because they were like <clears throat> traveling. I don't know. Since I don't want to be wrong about the Bible. Come on now, we finna learn. We all finna learn today <laughs> because this time shit's fucking weird. What up, BCE twenty twenty whatever? What was the year? Two thousand something or two hundred something? To, I, I have the, the answer to the year thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that what you're asking me? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the year thing is like Jesus was a baby. And then because when he died, I think that was when they were like, when the sky turned black and they realized God's real and we just killed his son. And like, yo, I think that's when they were like, we, we fucked up. Can we just start over right now? <laughs> Run it back. So that's what I think we're happened. Done. That's AD starts at Christ's death. Okay. And then BC is a reference to before Christ's death. I don't think that they're talking about before Christ existed. Mm-hmm. Right, so then those 33 years are just like, I mean, th- those m- legitimately might be the only real years of life that ever occurred. Like, God might have done something different when he gave us Jesus, and then God was literally walking on earth with us, which was crazy. And then, like, divinity left Jesus right before he died. And so that that's like God leaving Jesus, and it's just Jesus, and he's, like, dying on the cross. And it's like, he really, like, felt that pain. God wasn't, like, making it easy on him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, there's something to be said for that. When God was walking with us. Also, Adam and Eve time, when did that happen? Right. <laughs> but what are the... So So when does China get it, get existed? <laughs> Established. Yeah, okay. So, well, this thing that I was saying is, yes, the King Herod had heard that there was going to be... Um, like, uh, the king of the Jews was okay. going to be born into Jerusalem. And then he felt threatened by the prophecy of a new king, and he ordered the massacre of all the innocents, which was the killing of all male children two years old and under in Bethlehem, and an attempt to eliminate the baby Jesus. But Jesus' family fled to Egypt to escape Herod's decree, thus saving him from the massacre. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. When they were like going, and they, there was no place at the end for them, it's because they were running mm. from that, mm-hmm. so that they could still have Jesus. 
So yeah, they knew like, whoa, this might be like huge right here. But this might be a buck. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna take my spot, that baby. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And then I think as he performed miracles, it was like, can you look up the, the year thing again? Yeah. yeah. Going? <laughs> so when was Jesus born? When was Jesus born? Zero. Four BCE. Four. Yeah. Okay. It says between six and four BCE is the generally estimated historical and astronomical date. And it, it, there's references. What was it four to six? Uh, six to four, I guess, because they're counting. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's like negatives almost. Or it, yeah. starts, it starts going positive in this Oh, direction. I see why it's confusing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so when we say like 1200 BCE, we got to go like that way. Yeah. Away from today's time. Yeah, we're over here. <laughs> Yeah, I can say, like, how many years ago was the Chia dynasty? Because that would give us a total number on the chart okay, graph, yeah. right? There we go. 4,094 years ago, which is 2070 BCE going this way. Almost 4,100 years. Like a negative integer. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't understand that. It's that crazy. was confusing as fuck. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh. It's going <laughs> wild. Well, time is weird. <laughs> yeah. so Jesus was born around four yeah. or five. BCE. Why did crazy BCE change to? Yeah, how did they know modern time? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When did they start? Like what the fuck? I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. Simulation. Oh wow! So BCE, simulation talk. BCE is just a politically correct way of saying BC. before Christ. Mm -hmm. That's great. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here with that <laughs> shit. I'm never Get saying that, e that here. again. Get that bro. fucking e out of here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay and, oh uh, christ ad is actually a latin term anno domini which means in the year of our lord if in case you're wondering it doesn't really mean after death oh uh, yeah um it, it's trying to tell me why they changed it from bc to bce but i'm asking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why did they start counting years backwards as in why isn't it just one long timeline oh wow it says the concept of counting years backwards before a set point and forward after it comes from the establishment of the birth of jesus christ as a central reference point in the western calendar system the system was devised by a monk. His name is Dionysus Exegesis Latin, in the 6th century current era AD, who established the year of Christ's birth as 1 AD, years before this event were labeled before Christ. So you're right. It wasn't even crucifixion. It was like from the year he was born. And it was this guy who was making a calendar of everything that had happened, but he didn't want to do one timeline, I guess. He was like, this is... Everything before this is just not bullshit. Even, yeah, <laughs> what? It's, the Old Testament's kind of like that too. People are like, everything before Jesus is kind of out the window. You ever heard someone say that? <clears throat> like, what do you mean? As in, sorry, what? What? Well, like people who talk about the Bible, uh -huh. they're like, the Old Testament is kind of hard to read because it's like not as. Oh, I see. Like, a, like a Christian saying that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. But like when Jesus enters in the New Testament, all of that is like super fire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's hard to take. That's the, where it really starts. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. funny, just that same sentiment that we just had of like, or that that guy had. Yeah. All of that is bullshit. Everything before <laughs> Jesus was born, just forget about it. Negative years, baby. <laughs> Negative years, baby. <laughs> On the up and up from here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Did we just listen to this fucking guy? Maybe he was the only one that could make a calendar. Who's this fucking cocksucker? <laughs> what are you going to say, huh? You make your calendar then. <laughs> Uh, it said using a single okay. continuous timeline for all of the histor of all of history would require choosing a starting point that might be arbitrary or culturally specific. Uh, how about like the earliest we know about? And we all just agreed with that. What about the other religions? There's like, yeah, yeah, I agree. When he was born, that's when it started. That is our zero. Is there any country that doesn't like agree that we're in 2024 right now? Like, you know, they just call it something different. It says this dual system has been adopted by many other cultures due to the widespread influence of the Gregorian calendar. Who's Gregory? 
Uh, my next question: <laughs> Why was the Gregorian calendar so in so influential? Yeah, why did it get so widely adopted? I mean, one thing is I ain't hating on it. I mean, I think he's right. I think he's dead on the money. I think it's crazy that that's like the reality that we live in, where that's like the or uh, that's just like what the fuck an, in, an influencing characteristic into the how we literally live, how we literally frame our entire existence. Everyone, whether you fucking believe it or not, bitch, like it's fucking happening. Sorry, yeah. unless you don't believe we're in 2024, you can call the year whatever you want. Wow, dude. So, here's what it says so the Gregorian refers Gregory is Pope Gregory the 13th. I fucking knew it in 1582. He, first of all, it was right. I guess they were losing about 11 minutes per year, and then by giving us a leap year. He fixed the inaccuracy of the calendar. Like this year wouldn't be last year, or like twenty years ago. This time the seasons would be all fucked up. Yeah, so they got that right, and then all of the Catholic churches adopted it. They were like, "All right, this is our calendar now." And then once all the Catholic people had adopted it, then the colonials in Europe, who controlled the larger parts of the world, and had people working jobs that required calendars, they just made the shift with the Catholics. And so when the Catholics and the people that controlled the jobs in Europe combined on that, it says that everyone else just basically had to adopt it too. What the fuck? And I guess that it says for science and economic needs. So like when they're making trades with people and trying to get boats to places and they have to like communicate with each other and coordinate, Mm -hmm. they needed like uh, the days to be the exact same. They couldn't be like, wait, which calendar are you using? Exactly. Like, well, we're Catholic. We're using this. And the European people were like, oh, my God. Fuck, we'll just like, that was it. today? <laughs> that was today? No, it's not. And then the Catholics weren't budging. You're fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> you live in a false reality, you stupid bitch. Come over to our reality. <laughs> Fine. And they just What expect- a leap year. What a 29th. Why not? Fuck it. <laughs> Length in February. We can't have 32 on any of them. That'd be fucking weird. <laughs> What? We'll give it to February. Give it to February. Short ass. Fuck it. Yeah. Why is February <laughs> so run short? Of, run of the litter. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> so maybe thirty. So strange. People just wanted thirty-one on some some months. It was like their birthday. Like if you were hard as fuck, they gave you a thirty-one. I get one more one more day of celebration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's royalty, baby. Let's go. No, I don't know who fucking knows. Name day. It's so it's all so fucking arbitrary, bro. And who? I don't know, but the see, church is a lot of culture. That's what I was going to reference to when right? I said, like the Pope. Uh huh. Uh-huh. He was just like, "This is what we're doing now, bro. This is what's called. Co- this this is how we live." And then the church sets up a lot of infrastructure. Literally, like it's like, how did people know how to read? It's like, well, the church had books because they kept information. Mm-hmm. The guy could create a calendar because he had. I mean, like the fucking Vatican is filled with all of the oldest documents of all time, you know. So they they have the most like foundational structural. Access to information, the libraries. Right. And I feel like when we were all savages and trying to like come together and stuff like that, the oh. church had like missions and trying to teach people how to talk. Yo, and read. I wonder what books are in the fucking hidden libraries in the Vatican. God knows. And that's it. I think they've got some shit that would fucking blow anybody's mind. I want to go. Like, how do I get access? <laughs> Joe Rogan. Let's ask Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe, did you see the secret library? You got. You had to see the secret library, Joe. Come on. Who are they going to show it to? Not you. Not Joe. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Get in there. They might have aliens in there. Like, books on aliens. Like, for real. The aliens wrote or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Who fucking knows? Who knows? Who fucking knows? Oh, but I guess another thing that happened is the calendar. Oh, no. Never mind. We already said that. What? The first... The way the other Pope had it set up, there was just inaccuracies, and I thought that meant he was lying about times of periods of time, but it was just that they were losing 11 minutes a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just the, the not leap year. I think that fixes it. I'm pretty sure that's what... Uh, I've, I've heard what's-his-name talk about that. Neil deGrasse Tyson. It fixes it. But either way, it's all just so fucking arbitrary and weird. Yeah, we need some kind of organization. But we all just agreed as an as a, as a entire species of human beings that live on different continents... We all just agreed to be like, yeah, the calendar where Jesus is like this, the starting point, we'll, we'll take that one. That, that sounds right. We all just agreed to that. And that's where, where we're living, you know? It's like, what the fuck? Isn't that strange? I think Louis C.K. has a bit about that. He's like, Christianity, like, 
kind of fucking won. Like, like the religious debate. It's like they start like time on zero, like with your religion. <laughs> it's like what the fuck else do you like? We all, like we're all in this bitch. Like that, whatever. I don't even know was his joke about it, but that that's the premise. Maybe that's God. Tell me why the Bible's been the best selling book forever. You know what I'm saying? How does mm-hmm. it exist through so much time? Because like other, I don't know the Mesopotamian religious text. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I think that that's like phenomenal. And there's some things that like you can't, I can't explain to you. You know what I'm saying? And it feels like there's, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's crazy. It's crazy as fuck. It's also super crazy because there's just like I don't know. There's a lot of craziness about it, and I think one of the crazy aspects is that there's so many interpretations and so many translations and so many texts and even like older texts like. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita or whatever, Joe Rogan and, and uh, what's his name? Yeah. No one guy talks about. And the Dead Sea Scrolls and that kind yep. of shit. The ancient, ancient shit. Either way, I think there's this, it, it's it's also crazy. Yeah. It's also fucking crazy. No one knows what's happening for real. Same way no one knows what happens after life, no one can tell you what's happening in this life. A, a personal belief system, mm. like, it's God's world, right? Like, he built it. Mm-hmm. And I think that, like, we don't know about the Dead Sea Scrolls, per se, because it's, like, irrelevant to the influence that we're supposed to have. Like, this faith-based journey is supposed to be, like, perfectly ambiguous to where it's, like, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. need faith to get through it. Like, Yeah, there is no certain answer. Exactly. You have to derive your own certainty. Yes. Through your own internal guidance system and your own feeling process. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on. And I think that that, it's, that thing is perfectly tailored to perfect ambiguity through God's creation. That's like mm-hmm. his threshold for that. And then with that being said, it does make sense to me that God could have influenced culture perfectly to, yeah, why was the church so, so influential early on? It's like for whatever Holy Spirit, whatever movement, whatever influence, you know, had God's people like outpouring like knowledge and shelter and food and trying to go to these other cultures to bring them into Christianity and stuff like that. And enough of that was, like, enough structure that, like, it generally was what gave us, like, reading and language and stuff like that. So, I think that that's, like, God working in our world, like, creating the pathway for us to ultimately be saved by him when he comes back. And it makes sense to me that Jesus might be the starting point for our calendar because it's, like, like you said, like, that that sentiment that, like, we won or, like, Christians won the... The, yeah. the branding battle, our time starts with them. Yeah. It's like, I'm not saying that. I mean, that's a tough conversation to have with somebody. I'm like, it's clearly our religion. Like, we're Duh. we're obviously the most right. <laughs> it's like, you can't really have that argument with anybody, but. Oh, of course. And I don't, you know. But anyways, that's my take on it. It's like, that's easy, easy for me to digest through my own perception of life. Mm-hmm. If somebody who was like from the Middle East might be like not making much sense to them, and they might have a super valid argument. Yeah, hey, that's that's, that's another say so yeah crazy or part of the aspect that makes it so crazy. It's just like that people who yeah just follow all the other different religions just like agree with that calendar, just like fucking move with that shit, and just like all right, this is this is what we're gonna do now. This is how we uh, this is how we frame our existence. I think he's probably that influential to be honest. Strange. With you. Who but Jesus? Oh well, yeah. That important. Yeah. 1500 years later. So wild. I don't even, I don't even, it's, it's, it's all so crazy. <laughs> it's all so crazy. Because the people who were living before Jesus was born, they didn't know he was going to come, per se. So they didn't know that their time was going to be just, like, just ripped from them. So like whatever year they think they're living in, no. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, brother. That shit ain't happening the way you think it is. Like, when did they start, like, recording years at all? It's like, this is year one. One. <laughs> like, then, then we made it around another time. We're like, two, we did it again. The same day again. <laughs> one year later. We probably went around a couple times before we realized that's what the fuck's ha- happening. Yeah. By that time, there were kings and shit, though, you know? Huh? By that time, Jesus was, was born. So, yeah, like, but then there's people living in Egypt in like the Old Testament, ten thousand years ago, there's like a pharaoh and shit like that. Yeah, so they probably had some kind of year counting system. Yeah, yeah, just doesn't fucking matter to us. We just don't give a fuck. I don't give it's a fuck. All what year you thought you were <laughs> like it's done, so bro. Yeah, like it's done, so Dunskis. Sorry. Yeah. So weird. So crazy. Because it's a, it's a real mind fuck to find stuff buried underground that's four thousand years old. 
We're like, I don't know. You didn't think it went back that far. What the fuck do you mean carbon dated it 4,000 years ago? Carbon? Who's who's carbon? <laughs> Seriously. Carbon like, San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought of too. That's so funny. I didn't know how to make a joke out of it. Uh, but yeah, bro. Like I think that was kind of like a... Thank God we've got this BC stuff we can lean on because... <laughs> we didn't even know it went back that far <laughs> when we started counting. <laughs> right. Yeah. What the fuck? Like the dinosaurs? When were they here? Oh, good God. Good God almighty. Millions of years ago. I want to talk about one more thing before. Whoa, oh, did you see that the thing we were going to go do might have just gotten done already? No, yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah. I, I saw an email. Oh, yeah. Cool. It did. Nice. So, we might have a little bit more time. All right, cool. Yeah, we can give that a check. We can give that a word. Dude, this is a... What's your guess? How, how long ago the dinosaurs were here? Yeah. <sighs> one. One. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you have to take my reaction out of your hold on. process. I think the universe is recorded to be 3.8 billion years or some shit old. Okay. They weren't around that long ago. <laughs> how long ago? You're the money. You're good. I would say 150 million years ago. Dude, you're pretty fire. That's pretty. <laughs> that's really close compared to where I would have landed the ball. Uh, the earliest period is 252 to 201 million years ago. Over 200 million years ago. And you said 150 what million. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Our con- How do we know? Our carbon dating. Yeah. Carbon dated it. <laughs> what the- Took it to second base. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? That is so... I can't even think about that. We can't even think about that. What? It's so long ago. It seems like a lie. Christ. It wasn't even a thought of a thought. Neither was any of the fucking... Or was he? I guess, I guess right. Was there a messianic dinosaur? <laughs> right. That sacrificed himself <laughs> in the meteor <laughs> and reset life? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to make of that. <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? I'm saying, Dude, bro. dinosaurs 250 million years ago. That is a long time. That's so long ago. Yeah, I, I don't. There were no people. It was just dinosaurs. What the fuck were they? There's all dinosaurs and plants, and bugs or what? Yeah, like, flowers. Who was trees. around? Who? No people. When did we? When did people become? Or when did monkeys become people? Difference. When did monkeys become it ever? I guess after the fucking meteor, right? Or after the extinction. When are the earliest signs of human evolution? Like primates? Fucking, what are we? Homo sapiens? Homo sapiens? Or, I guess even just monkeys. Like, what, what the fuck? So the dinosaurs primates. existed, yeah, they existed 200 plus million years ago. Meteor hits. All the dinosaurs are done. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. We restart. <clears throat> so, and in that restarting, we get to the monkeys. Yes, we do. You're on the money. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's a Paleocene epoch, which I guess represents some kind of season of time. Okay. It's around 65 million years ago, shortly after the extinction of dinosaurs at relative to 3.8 billion years of world life. The earliest known primate like manuals are the Placé dapiforms, which appear around this time. True primates or primates of modern aspect are believed to have emerged during the Eocene epoch around 55 million years ago. Hmm. The fossil record of these early primates shows adaptations for tree dwelling and an arboreal lifestyle, such as grasping hands and feet and binocular vision. Hmm. So yeah, 200 million years ago, dinosaurs, meteor hits... Boom. We're at 50 million years. So 150 million years of time passes. <clears throat> With dinosaurs. Oh, I got to ask when the dinosaurs pass away. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have to log in to chat GPT because I didn't realize I wasn't logged in. And, and then the monkeys come. We just come from evolution. That's just what's going on here. Right? Like <laughs> That's... That's what happened. Allegedly, yes. Yes, allegedly, Your Honor. Man, it, it wanted me to pay for it because it's trying to separate my Gmail from my Apple account. And I'm like, nah, dog, I'm already a member, Doug. 
I'm trying to get you up with the double dip, dig. I ain't getting double dipped on. I need to log out. Yes, sir. Continue with Google. Yes, sir. Continue. It's fucked up, chat. You just got to know how to work the system. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you got to know how to dance. Yeah. You can't hammer your hand to be mad at the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Amen, brother. Even though I'll throw that fucking hammer. I ain't mad at the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I'm throwing that song, bitch. Throwing that shit hard. One of my, some of my favorite childhood memories are like working in the garage with my dad or whatever. For, nice. hold, holding the flashlight on the car. Yeah. But it was funny how many tools I didn't know were the right tools. <laughs> <laughs> I had to just bring back like the wrong tool. <laughs> what the fuck? That's your tape measure. <laughs> no, nah, I need that one. I need that one. Okay. When did dinosaurs become extinct? So they were here around 200 plus million years ago. Oh, wow. 66 million years ago. Damn, so they were around like 200 plus years ago to like 66. They were around for 100 plus million years. They had a run, bro. They had a fucking run. More of a run than we could imagine. We've been around Holy for a couple shit. hundred. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. It was fucking, it was just dinosaur land, bro. For 100 million plus years? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I gotta confirm that. That seems ridiculous. Hold on. <laughs> Dinosaurs lived on Earth for about 165 million years. What are we talking about? Just... What are we talking about? <laughs> My axioms are <laughs> shook right now. <laughs> that is so long. We've been around for... A, well, we live for 80. We live for 80 at a time. We've been here for a thousand. A couple thousand. 6,000. It was the earliest human dynasty recorded 6,000 years ago. Oh. <sighs> For nothing. That's so that's so that's such nothing. Six thousand in relative to hundred and sixty million. Brother. What the hell? The dinosaurs must have fucked up pretty pretty epically. <laughs> they must have fucked up pretty bad. Well they were never gonna fuck up. I had to send a meteor at them. Yeah, well what <laughs> there was on this planet there were dinosaurs? What? For a hundred plus million years? This is their planet. What the fuck are we doing here? That's probably what all the dinosaurs think. Yeah, they're like these fucking humans. It's Maybe we were it. the dinosaurs. Maybe. We still have like that. I don't know. I don't know. What was animating them? The same animating force that animates a fucking dog or so a think, shark? Was there corruption in, di- yeah. in the dinosaurs? In the dynasties? The dinosaurs? The deceased? <laughs> <laughs> There's no telling. I don't know. We don't have any literature. I can't even. That's so fucking weird. I never would have guessed it would have been that fucking long. Okay. It's a long time. I know I'm going to sound like Matthew here. Okay. But... Thinking about that brings a lot of, like, the Christian run, like, the idea that God created people and is going to come back to save them and take them to heaven. That We're talking about a 6,000-year span set that up, and we're living within that 6,000-year span. And some people would be like, the idea of a loop, uh, what's the word? Big Bang? The G- where Jesus is going to come back and, like, take people to heaven, but some people are still going to be here on earth. This oh yeah, how, the, the, uh, how it's gonna play out? Yeah, the end of days, whatever the fucking the rapture. There it is. There it is. Not the Toronto Raptors. Not the Raptors. <laughs> the rapture. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is a raptor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that'd be hard. Come on, dude. That would make the fight with Satan pretty crazy. It's like, oh, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Just a raptor going in. <laughs> but, the rapture. But, but like you said, I'm not making fun of God. I think that would be really cool. Never. Raptors are like the coolest dinosaurs. Like the T-Rex. Yeah. Yeah. Back to what I'm saying. Yes. That doesn't seem so crazy to me because it's like dinosaurs were here like 150 million years ago. This idea that God created this society and then like Jesus has sacrificed for our sins so that we could like have a pathway to get to heaven. But ultimately it's like. The devil has this world and we're not we're not long for it. So he's going to come and like take us back to the garden that we fell from. I don't know why exactly. I can't pinpoint a why this makes more sense to me. Knowing that we're on such a smaller time scale. It's not. People haven't been waiting for 200 million years for that to happen. Mm-hmm, people mm-hmm. been waiting 2000. Long enough for you to forget. And even then. Or it's, even then it's like we've only got like the, the BC or whatever. Like the AD whenever that started. It's only been like the last 2000 years. Yeah. That's it. Since those promises were made to us. Mm-hmm. 
And when you think about dinosaurs were on this planet for 150 million years, the perspective of that, like 2,000 goes into 150 million like a lot of times. A whole bunch. So many times. A whole bunch of fucking times. And what I was just thinking about, where'd those dinosaurs come from? You know? Should I ask right. chat GBT if yeah. God made the dinosaurs? Where'd they, where'd they come from? They had to come from something. I guess the, the answer is science. Evolution? Yeah. Like frogs, tadpoles. It's alligators and chickens and fucking pterodactyls. And, or fuck what? Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? <laughs> this is like, how do we not have dinosaurs now then? Or like, what the fuck? Where did the dinosaurs I think the closest from? thing, the closest thing that we have now to dinosaurs is a fucking bird, I'm pretty sure. Birds. Dinosaurs evolved from a group of reptiles known as archosaurs, which first appeared during the late Triassic period around 230 million years ago. What came before them? <laughs> Where I'm going to go down the rabbit hole, baby. Creatures. What was the first, the first recorded life form ever? On Earth. We, we, we probably haven't even discovered it. Or who knows? Prior to that time period. Man. Fucking weird. Riff for me, bro. Go on. Because <laughs> I'm just trying to think Whoa. where those dinosaurs came from. They came from something. Something had to evolve into that the same way that after the fucking meteor hit, we evolved into all of this bullshit. It's like, what happened? How? What, what was their originating bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Bacteria, amoeba. That's the... I learned that in biology. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this one says, multicellular life began to appear around 600 million years ago. This is when Damn. we're first getting some kind of something moving around. Okay, something's happening. Something's I said, happening. I said creatures, so... So this period saw an emergence of a diverse array of soft-bodied organisms. Following this, the Cambrian explosion around 541 million years ago. What did it look like? Was it just like a fucking, like the planet, the way we even have the planet now, there's no people on it. That's just the way it was. And then these fucking things started just... Yeah. I'm a dinosaur now. <laughs> <laughs> it says that uh, the first groups of animals were... Arth arthropods, mollusks, and vertebrates. Okay. And I guess, I think that's like, well, I'm going to have to ask it, but. <laughs> Please. <laughs> like my vertebrae? Like a spinal cord? <laughs> it sounds like what it's saying is that there were fish, birds, and things that had a spine. Okay. Okay, I'm with it. And I'm then. It. That, sounds, that makes sense. By the time the first dinosaurs appeared, the Earth had already seen a lot of ecosystems and numerous life forms, including early reptiles, amphibians, and fish. So, what I'm gathering there is these something in the the ocean. water. The water's where it fucking started. Yes, the water's where it all started. Always, right. water's where it always starts. They're coming out of the. They're tadpoles. Even what the fuck's the, what's under the ocean? What's under the ocean? <laughs> are all life forms coming from the oceans started from the water yes all known life forms on earth have believed to originate in the oceans many microorganisms over billion, billions of years multicellular organisms developed that's why water represents like the chaos you know what I'm saying mm. the, 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 the thing that out of which it comes uh chaotic creative force that's deep now that you're talking about it like that that's crazy that's bananas that's banana sandwich y'all extra peanut butter algae started to happen like 500 million years ago and that was like the first plants but that's what i'm saying like isn't algae water related it's like water going from becoming adaptable to land mm -hmm. water bacteria <clears throat> what the f bruh yeah but so then why didn't we why didn't they why didn't, didn't the humans exist in the same evolutionary pool that the dinosaurs came into? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If they're around for so fucking long, we've only been around for a couple thousand years. How how did we not overlap with the dinosaurs? Was there a period where we overlap with the dinosaurs? Like were there cavemen that had to fucking deal with that shit? Was the flint like with like the, the Flintstones? It says that we don't exist. What? Humans did not exist at the same time as the dinosaurs. We never existed. We ever overlapped. No. The first modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared much later, approximately 300,000 years ago. 
Whereas I guess we're talking about fucking 500 million years ago. Yeah, 500 million years ago, that evolutionary chain leads to dinosaurs with no humans. And then this evolutionary chain leads to humans with no dinosaurs. You know what I'm saying? I think a chicken's the closest we got. Alligators look pretty fucking weird. (laughs) You know what's weird is that the dinosaurs came from... It's like nature duked it out, and then the dinosaurs just became the dominant fucking thing of life they were yeah, the top right. of the hierarchy right everything much like we are now were there lions and other shit like that too around that time like saber two tigers or whatever the fuck like mammoths like wool like woolly mammoths and shit i guess that was like the ice age i don't even know what else existed because it wasn't only dinosaurs right it was only dinosaurs that was the only thing that existed from the fucking 500 million year ago algae amoeba and whatever the fuck else was going on Yeah, I mean, it starts with single cell organisms. Yeah. Like uh, prokaryotes, bacteria, and archaea. But yeah, this is what you're talking about. Bunch of bacteria, algae, the gray oxid. Oh, okay, so this is the, the. As this algae starts to happen and does photosynthesis. Then it starts releasing oxygen into Earth's atmosphere, leading to the great oxidation event around 2.4 billion years ago. And this event had a profound impact on the evolution of life, enabling the development of more complex oxygen-dependent organisms. So I guess it goes. It kind of makes sense that these <laughs> reptiles were really dominant because it seems like they're more like uh, from the ocean and uh-huh. maybe didn't need these complex oxygen-requiring systems. That humans would eventually need to have to have all of this shit going on. Okay. What? (laughs) Don't dinosaurs need oxygen too? Did dinosaurs need as much oxygen as humans need? Okay, so vertebrates refers to things that need oxygen to survive okay learn something new every day it said earth's atmosphere had varying level oxygen levels during the dinosaur time that study suggests that oxygen levels were lower than today's levels during the triassic period and higher during the jurassic so what (laughs) says that they might have even had better respiratory systems than modern humans actually they may have had adaptations like air sacs that allowed them to uh, extract oxygen more effectively, even from air with lower oxygen content. <clears throat> but I'm sure if we needed that, God would have just gave us those. The fucking air sac. Yeah. It's also it's also strange. What the hell? This is so weird to yeah, think about. I, the big, the, one of the bigger questions we could ask is, like, what, what inspired humans to happen? You yeah. Because we have yeah. literature and narrative, and we can create history, and... Dinosaurs are just like, ah, 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 <laughs> you know, killing each just other. Just going shit. on a run, a fucking hundred million, over a hundred million year run. Yeah. Just, what the hell? This killing being, if you were a T Rex, if you came from a line, I guess they had to reproduce, right? What the fuck? Like, they had to. That's crazy. Maybe that's representative of the snake somehow. Yeah. Right? The reptile, the snake, it's, mm-hmm. it's inherently there. Inherently, it, it makes be. a run. It's it makes a bigger run than we ever will. That's a long fucking time, hundred fifty million years. Snakes were here way before we were, or whatever the fuck. Reptiles. Maybe that's just like God created the universe. It's like that's just that was Tycoon Planet. That was the <laughs> he made a universe, and then I think Earth was chosen kind of specifically to inhabit our our particular brand. Yeah, our thing we got going on here. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I'm going to send a me- or ma- the whole time a meteor was coming for them. The whole time. You know yep. what I'm saying? Space yep. is like moving and shit. The whole time a meteor was coming. Nothing they could have done. Right. Like, we shouldn't be shitting so much. <laughs> we shouldn't be farting. The atmosphere. The meteors. <laughs> Think about the children. <laughs> None of that shit. Nothing they could have done. That shit was coming. Yeah. Their days were numbered. Yeah, I think that was just by design to like create what would be ultimately create humans. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Humans mm-hmm. ain't really existing anywhere else that we know of. It takes a, uh, it takes the exact right amount of dinosaurs for the exact right amount of time, a life to be there for as long as it was, 
get hit with a meteor, restart off of an update because it's got to do a whole freezing and warming in another billion, however many years. Yeah, however long it takes to fucking. I think it was 60 million. Yeah, over 60 million years ago. Right. Okay. So then 60 million years pass. That creates the perfect conditions to create what would become a Homo sapien. Whereas there wasn't a Homo sapien created in the 150 million years prior. Nope. Wasn't possible by science. It wasn't ready yet. Like, what? Why not? Like, what? Isn't that weird? (laughs) Isn't that fucking weird? I figured out the next question. Okay. What changed in... Yeah, there we go. Earth's conditions. That allowed humans... That allowed... Yeah. To be... (laughs) <laughs> that gave the humans rise to be during the dinosaur time dinosaur eras there wasn't a line of homo sapiens you getting real specific don't fuck with me yeah yeah you, you gotta be able to craft your words carefully with chat gpt and make sure to make sure you get the right result it says several major changes in Earth's conditions and events in biological evolution set the stage for the emergence of humans and other modern species long after the dinosaur era. So the mass extinction event is 66 million years ago. Massive asteroid impact. It's cool whenever we're talking and then I do chat GBT and it's just like, yeah, you know what you're talking about. Let's go, baby. It just altered Earth's ecosystems. That's point number one. Point number two says after the extinction of dinosaurs, mammals had... Existed alongside dinosaurs in relatively small and less dominant forms began to diversify and occupy various ecological roles. This diversification was crucial for the eventual emergence of primates and later humans. Uh, climate changes and shifts in habitat. Over millions of years, Earth's climate and geography underwent significant changes, including the cooling and drying of the planet and the formation of diverse habitats such as grasslands and savannas. These environmental changes influenced the evolution and spread of species, including the ancestors of humans. Then the evolution of primates... Hmm. Primates are characterized by traits, forward-facing eyes, flexible limbs, and a large brain relative to body size. The evolutionary split between the ancestors of our humans and our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees, occurred six to seven million years ago. And what then, the fuck, yo? The development of bipedism, which is, we can walk. And, okay. But why didn't the human, why, okay, okay. It, what, yeah. I, what I'm reading is that with no dinosaurs, they're... Uh, mammals, which were there when dinosaurs were there, but just smaller and couldn't flourish. Then dinosaurs take them away. Mammals start to populate, and all the things that dinosaurs had to do, the mammals have to do. And now they're getting specific roles, where the like beavers making a dam, and then this guy's doing this thing. And then through that process, we're able to get like monkeys, which evolved into like chimpanzees, which evolved into like early Homo sapiens, mm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why couldn't the dinosaurs come back? If all the other animals could come back. Yeah. Right? Because they would just dominate again and then keep humans in their place. <laughs> Why couldn't dinosaurs come back after the media. mass extinction, yeah. right? Yeah. Because if it was just going to play out how it played out again, I don't understand. Exactly. The conditions were just right to produce what needed to be produced and then not the dinosaurs again. So it's drastic environmental changes. Simply that. It included a nuclear winter with dra- drastic temperature drops, blocked sunlight, and acid rain. And then it said maybe there were some types of early dinosaurs coming back, but there were fewer niches for large dinosaurs, and so they didn't. What is that? What? <laughs> they couldn't get jobs? <laughs> They had no niche. They had no, they had no social media presence. They were fucked. They were never going to make it. Like, what? It, just, it doesn't make any sense, like, in my mind a little bit. You know? <laughs> yeah. Biological limitations. Like, Dinosaurs were highly diverse, but many of the large non-avian species were particularly vulnerable to changes in the environment, to their size, metabolism, specific ecological roles. After the extinction, smaller, more adaptable animals had a better chance of surviving and evolving to fill their niches. And then mammals started going off, rise of mammals. Man, what the hell, man? It's just a little fishy. It is fishy. Right? It is fishy as fuck. If it all starts from the same source, which is the ocean, both times, I, just, I guess the I guess the, the, the primary difference is just the econo- or not economic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> not the economic, economic conditions. <laughs> Just the fucking the the climate. Yeah, the 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 weather, the the conditions of the earth itself were just that drastically different to where they just never came back. They never came back. What? One thing that I'm reading is it seems like the dinosaurs got fucking huge. They got yoked up. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe, I guess if you have perfect food for 150 million yeah, years. imagine like a fucking elephant that just keeps on going. Just keeps on growing and growing and growing. Like T-Rexes? How big were they supposed to be hypothetically? Like I have a picture in my head, but I don't really know. Fucking huge? Yeah, I couldn't even guess. Let's say how tall is an elephant? Like 10 feet maybe, roughly? So let's say, I don't know, I'm, I'm visualizing a T-Rex standing next to an elephant. When you visualize a T-Rex next to an elephant, how big is that T-Rex compared to that elephant? I think it's at least like four or five elephants high at least. Could be more because I've seen some movies. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say like... Um, that could just be the movie talking. That could be Hollywood influence. Shaq me. standing next to Allen Iverson. Okay, so... Over double. Yeah, over double. 20 feet. I had to think about it. Over 20 double. feet. 20 feet tall. I get you some numbers. How big do you think an elephant is? How many feet? Like 10? 13 feet. 10 to 13. Okay. You're on the money. You're Let's low go. balling. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and then how tall do you think the average T-Rex is? I would say like 40 to 50. Dude, you're so cash. Yo. You're so <laughs> cash. Bro. About that 40 dude. feet, dude. Whoa, yeah, wait. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it no, says not cash. <laughs> the length of their from their tail to their face would be like 40 feet. Oh, tail to snout, 40 feet. But roughly 12 to 20 feet tall at the hips. The at the you? hips? You're not counting the legs? Wait, what are you talking about? Wait, to the from the leg to the hip or from the hip to the dome? Why, why, why don't you give me the whole, the whole spread? <laughs> it says 12 to 20 feet tall at the hips. What does that even mean? I guess maybe from leg to hip because some of them were like... Well, no, they're T-Rexes. They're all fucking... Yeah, they're, they don't stand up. They're Since all, their head all. was five feet long. Brother. That's a car. How tall is a T-Rex standing up? I thought I said 40 feet, and I was like, fucking <clears> sick. <throat> 10 to 12 feet to the hips? The total height, including the head, could be even greater depending on its posture. Okay. Says that they were they weren't fully erect like humans. They stood more in like a horizontal position. Yeah, they stand more crouched. So I'm looking if I'm thinking about T Rex. They definitely are more like a seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're saying like so if you account for like how tall that thing is, I guess they're saying like at most it's like twenty feet tall. Okay, that's still pretty fucking tall. Yeah. So about twelve feet is like where it's like from the ground. It's a whole elephant high, and then it just fucking. That's hard for me to visualize. This but way. ten feet is like to a basketball rim. Yes. That's how tall an elephant would be to you. I didn't think about that. That's really tall to me. That's big. Yeah, it's huge. It's a big fucking thing. Like, <laughs> it's a big fucking thing. Two of those things, two basketball rims. You're looking at a fucking monster that wants to eat you. Eat with a, a, head, a head the size of your car. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck around. That's scary as fuck. Yes. That's scary as fuck. How do they even flourish? How do they even become that? That is just... What? We don't see that much now. What? That's so strange. What's the biggest animal that ever existed? How did they not? Oh, thank goodness they didn't come back. They would have just dominated. That's what we're. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Well, part uh, yeah. So why didn't they come back? But then part of it is because they were so big that when Earth was resetting itself, there was like food scarcity and yeah, there was no little things to eat or no. little, little things relative to them. Right. But I guess why wouldn't they just develop? I don't, I don't know. Eat everything else around them? Yeah. I, I, it's, it doesn't make sense. So it still doesn't, doesn't quite check out. Like when the first T Rexes were ever born, ever, you know, or ever came into being, like there were just, it just, just so happened to be enough perfect conditions for them to grow into these giant fucking machines, these beasts. But the second time around, it couldn't happen. What? What? Why not? What? The conditions, the climate conditions were just that, that fucked up, I guess. That's the only explanation. Only explanation. That's it. Perfect conditions to create humans. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. And then that, when the di dinosaurs were on their run, humans never came up. Because we were just, they would have given Eden. Crushed. Along the way. Could never, could have never flourished. Godzilla would have been life back then. Just killing everybody. No monkeys. Dude, one of the biggest what? dinosaurs is the... Argentinosaurus, <clears throat> estimated to be a hundred feet long. 
Weighing 70 to 100 tons. Get out of here. That's fuck, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That is that is atrocious. Uh, there's another dinosaur large. that was 100 feet tall called the Patagotitian. 100 feet tall? Oh, there's, a, there's the one with the long neck? Oh, yeah, it could be. It doesn't it doesn't describe it that way, but oh that that, nope, that's a supersaurus, number five. Hundred and five feet tall. Super long necks, like a fucking giraffe. Yeah. Kept that. Like <laughs> kept that aspect. Dude, there's a Shastasaurus, it's a marine reptile, about sixty nine feet in length. Fuck that, dude. Dude, it's like a basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. We <laughs> ran into that thing, dude. Whew. Holy god above. So there's been some huge things from time to They're time. Huge, but we yeah. got whales and shit now. Like the ocean, ocean. That's the only way that should happen. The ocean, a different gang, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different. That's a different world, baby. Yeah, we can't dominate down there. Uh, uh-uh. we have no right down there. <laughs> we have nowhere foreigners. If we could, we would dominate that game too. Yep, we're we're, we're just foreigners in a strange land down there, baby. We ain't got no right down there. We get fucking crushed by the pressure, literally. So how does it make sense that you're a human but you weren't? A fucking dolphin. Yeah, right. You know what I'm what? saying? <laughs> are, like, ecologically, are we just super lucky that we're uh, born into a human? Hmm. And I don't have to be a fucking dolphin? Because they're, like, smart but dumb. Yeah, that, that's a question I have. Or it's, like, a thing I, I stumble into sometimes from time to time. Just, like, looking at anything that's existing, like animals particularly. It's like, they just got that. They're just in there. Like, the same way I'm centralized, localized right here in my head. Or it feels like that. It's like, they're just... I'm assuming to some degree, not not the same exact thing I got going on, but they have something going on like what I have going on. They animate a fucking thing. Yeah. They have like control of their body and like Dude, have, if you they have kill emotions. Them, you feel bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They they could die. They bleed. They they eat. They gotta poop. It's like they have babies. It's like that's all. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. It's like this little fucking this, these ants or this dog or these fish. They're all just living in their fucking thing. But what, what were we saying to that? Like you were just like, is it lucky that we're born into being the human version? Yeah. Or to be in this species? Yeah. <laughs> like if you were just a dinosaur, your time was just over and up. We're living in today, in the now, rocking. Rocking. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Talking about all these fucking years of all these fucking animals that ever existed ever. <laughs> and you're. And now we're just here rocking. Yeah. You're the top of the food chain. It's nice. We got tools. We got technology. We got crazy, crazy, crazy shit. It's a lot to wrap your head around. <laughs> it's, a lot. it's a lot. I lose myself in the time. I lose myself in I the think dinosaurs. we had it on a threat. I think we had it on a fucking threat. All of that was a presupposition to create a perfect ecological storm so that humans could exist in the story in which that we're existing in right now. Mm. Like, the fact that we're alive right now is really nuts because... Bonkers. And we also might, like... Bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Dude. We, we've been around for such a small time. Such a small time. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 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 nothing in the grand scheme of things absolutely nothing it makes the, the notion of a now just seems weird to me now that we're talking about time so much mm-hmm. I'm in the now I'm about to turn 30 in the now we got shit happening today <laughs> we gotta eat all, right, all those other days that happened <laughs> so many days have happened like my goodness the days just keep happening you can get lost in that storm you lose yourself. <laughs> you want you want you want to touch something tangible with me before we get off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, okay, just real quick, I think it'd be great for us to talk about. There's basically two conspiracy theories. Yes. Open your mind. Your mind. Our minds are pretty open right now. I'm open minded. There's basically two conspiracy theories surrounding the Donald Trump attempted assassination. Okay. One being. That this guy, they tried to JFK Donald Trump. The other they tried being, to hit him. Yes. The other, the other being, this is a false flag by the Donald Trump camp to ensure victory in the polls. Yep. It's a master plot to take the country by storm. Put the brand at an all-time high. All-time high. Or they tried to JFK him. But to say that this guy got onto the rooftop... Shot five or six times before we took him out. And it was just uh, like a virus in a computer. It was just like the flu in the winter. We just, he just, he just got in there and did some damage and we couldn't have stopped it. Just couldn't know anything about it. 
that's fucking crazy. That 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 that's a conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. I think. Okay, regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. What uh, which one have you heard more about? Uh, I don't know if I've really heard too too much about either one, honestly. Just talking with people that work and stuff. I haven't really seen too much on social media, but. It was definitely my initial first thought whenever that was like breaking news that that had happened. That was my first reaction was like, maybe he was behind that. Maybe he orchestrated that himself. No reason to think that. No reason. I'm just a skeptical person. (laughs) I just take things to the opposite and see how it looks. Just so I can go back this way and see how it looks. You know what I'm saying? That's how I battle with my ideas to see if they're fucking real. You know know what I'm saying? Worth holding. Beautiful. Jordan Peterson taught me that shit. So thinking is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I'm thinking, how are they trying to like, this is the narrative that's happening here. Who benefits? Why would they do this? What's going on? Who's, what's the t- intention, motivation, whatever, you know, all that stuff. Detective work, bro. <laughs> For real. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking narrative detective work. It's important to know what's happening, or at least a little bit to what, what's happening in your surrounding social circles or like fucking community. We got to take care of fucking day-to-day shit. We're all just people, you know what I'm saying? Just fucking gotta go to work gotta go to work it's like oh my god the former president was almost assassinated <laughs> i'm like and taking an order like the fuck yeah it's like it's, i'm so far detached from it at least in that regard you know what i'm saying definitely a lot of people are we're all just kind of watching it so i'm like what's going on with this narrative what's the what's the what's the what's the truth here what's going on but yeah that was definitely an initial initial thought i was met with I was like yeah maybe he did that maybe that's planned and scripted and maybe it was, and then also the the second thought was the exact opposite, or the, the same situation on the other side. It's like maybe they they planned it. This was another planned thing, but just it, they just missed, or they just fucking failed. Yeah. And then I guess option C is that this is like neither of their doings, and this is completely someone acting as a lone vigilante type it's, figure. It's supposed to be option A. That's the narrative. Okay, sorry. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> That's you option picture C. This guy, bro. No, like, I've never seen. You just look at him, and you're just like, "There's no way this is the guy that assassinates a person." He's a shooter. Our he does not look like a shooter. He looks like a very nerdy, skinny white dude, and is 20 years old. Ah, uh, okay. And apparently, that's exactly what he was, uh, from yeah. all the research. No idea. I don't know enough to speak on it with confidence. Confidence, but whoa, a little fucking weird, bro. It's a little weird, bro. Mm-hmm. It's a little weird, bro. Yeah, what have you been? Have you seen anything on socials or any like evidence or news or anything? Any stories developing well, either I way? I can't. Ha- well, that like true news. Uh, true news is a funny statement in America. <laughs> but like fake news, <laughs> fake news. A lot of it is fake news. We live in a fucking weird climate. But on CNN and, and Fox, one thing that they are reporting is that they they can't get into this kid's phone. The, I think I heard that. Yeah, and, like we can't get in there. Got our best people on it. Can't get into that phone. What the fuck do you mean? It's 2024. What the fuck do you mean can't get into this kid's phone? It's like, that's one of the boldest. We have AI. (laughs) The fuck do you mean you can't get into this kid's phone? (laughs) Yo, what are you talking about, bro? Mm -hmm. How does this kid have something? No. Even if he does have something like blocking it or whatever, I'm sure you can put some fucking supercomputers on it and just hack it. Yeah. It might take a couple weeks. It might take a year. Whatever. But it'll, it, you can fucking do it. There is like nothing that's impenetrable. Come on, I don't now. Think. All you could do is yeah. I think all you could do is really make it just infinitely hard. Yeah. But you could do it eventually. You can crack any 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 bullshit based on like Mr. Robot and shit that I've seen. Yeah, right. I'm basing a lot of this off Mr. Robot. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But, <laughs> but but regardless, still, this doesn't make sense. Come on. Another thing that's definitely being reported is this guy made it through security with his backpack that had his gun and in a it. ladder and a fucking ladder. He means he had to go through the security. Yeah. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Like there was like a, some kind of checkpoint to like get into the rally. He wasn't see. able to get onto a building that was like outside of the rally in his own like. From the outside of the, of the re- checkpoint, I guess. Let's just chat GPT before I start telling. Because if that's true, then stories. that's <laughs> then that's completely fucked. Oh, I don't think chat GPT has access to current news. <clears throat> Did the Trump shooter have to go through security? I'm I'm gonna get flagged. My phone's gonna get flagged for sure. You're not supposed to ask these questions. <laughs> They're definitely listening. They're definitely watching. Some of our most loyal fans. Mm-hmm. 
ChatGPT might not know. Definitely said security was. Uh, I see a headline that says security was on the local police. Yeah, it does say that he's on the local rooftop. My initial assumption is that the rooftop was outside of the Dude, okay, checkpoint, so which would the, make sense. But here, if it wasn't... Here's true news for you, quote-unquote. True news. Secret Service was notified by a Pennsylvania State Police of a suspicious person with a rangefinder on the ground at 5.51 p.m. on Saturday, about 20 minutes before the shots fired. Uh, this guy uh, did not know the suspicious, suspicious person had a gun, according to the police. There's a cell phone video that shows people pointing towards this guy with a rangefinder and trying to alert authorities of his presence a full two minutes before he opened fire on the president. And uh, from that point, I guess he uses that ladder to climb up on top of the building, this ladder that he has with him, with this rangefinder that these sheriffs have seen him with. It's going to try to show me an ad. But... He's walking around with a rangefinder and a ladder? Yeah. And a no fucking way. Yeah. No fucking way. This suspicious guy. Yeah, he's pretty fucking suspicious carrying a ladder. No way. I, I think he has a store. The, I'm assuming he stored the ladder okay. walking around with a rangefinder. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Way less suspicious. <laughs> There's no way he's that fucking stupid. He's still been alerted as a suspicious person. Yes. But I'm with you. That's enough. That, that should be enough. Yeah. Right? It's like, right. What the fuck are we doing? Was it? <laughs> he was spotted at some point carrying the ladder with him. <clears throat> yeah. That's just, that's just preposterous. Climbs up on top of this building, lays down, puts his gun together. Apparently, they have people looking on the rooftops of the buildings. They have like a sniper team because the, that sniper team proceeds to shoot him after he shoots the president, mm-hmm. shoots at him several times. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's just a little wild. A little wild. It's also wild, bro. I don't, I don't know what to make of any of it. All I know is that we got to keep on pushing, keep on fucking moving, keep working, keep praying, praising God. That's it. Give a fuck. We got music coming out. We got MJ38 show things coming out. We got fucking MJ38 production things coming into play. Life is good, y'all. I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. Keep going. I'm pulling for you. He's pulling for you. We pulling for you. Come on. Love you. Till next time. Like, comment, subscribe, share. All that shit. You already know what it is. Rolling through the city to the light, y'all. Really ain't no telling where we might.